Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pretty good, though. You, you look like a late night TV host with that. This, I don't even know how this is possible. No, me neither. It's tripping me out to look at. <laughs> <laughs> how do you enjoy having your house back now that Danny moved out? Oh, he's back. He's back? Yeah, he's back. What do you mean he's back? He's back. Tyler, hey, Tyler. You know this troubling news? No, what, uh, what did I miss? Dana was at Marty's house oh, boy. for a long period of time. Sure. He left, went back to his apartment, and now he's back. How is my hair going like this? I don't know. I don't know. You got kind of like a Hugh Jackman thing going right now. <laughs> like a Hugh, so on. <laughs> if Hugh Jackman was very down on his luck. <laughs> Shit. Why isn't it on your head? I don't know. It's on the back of my head. It's like it's on the head of somebody behind you. Like it's not your hair. <laughs> it's like how T.I. wears his hat. Is how your hair Yeah. Is. <laughs> Tilted askew. That's much worse. Now you're like Hito Turkaloo. There you get a hat. <laughs> you do need a hat. Give me a sec. I would have invited Dana on as well. I had no idea he was back at the Mush uh, residence. You want him Wait, on? So is, is he there now? Yeah, I'm yeah, guessing he's, he's like in the room. <laughs> he's holding the camera. <laughs> he's holding Bush's laptop the whole time. <laughs> right, Danny, you could have did this with your phone. Oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. Wait, so, so how like, long did Dana leave for? Like, was it, it was like a matter of days, months? I think it was like a week. Hours? Like, okay. Yeah, I thought they just lived there now. So, right. We went home. So it's like that traveling is the last thing you should be doing during all this. Yeah. Known, uh, in New York. Taker, a known advice taker, Dana B. Why'd you let him back into your home? Uh, I don't know, man. He, the, all I hear about is this beer pong tournament, and he's been he's been he has his little notepad that he keeps writing names on all day. That's all he does. That's all he does. <laughs> Do they relate to the beer pong tournament? Where he just writes? I thought he just writes names. James, <laughs> Alice, oh, yeah, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> That's just his hobby, writing names. Yeah, just Susan. Like, That's uh, a good one. <laughs> Lamar. Uh, Thomas, Thomas is a name. Yeah. I was actually thinking about that today. Like, I think some authors and some other people like really fucked up names. Like they screwed up. Like, for example, Waldo. If you named your kid Waldo, you're just an asshole now because he's a prick hiding in, in plain sight, trying to not, no one to find him. You can't ever put him in stripes. No, ever. no, you, can, you can't they, ever put him in stripe. Any, not even just red stripes. Any stripes they gonna get, they gonna fry any his ass. Pinched. He can never be a Yankee fan. Nothing. Nah. <laughs> but counterpoint, Waldo's a fire name. It <sighs> is, but that's what I'm saying. They ruined it. That's because, uh, yeah, yeah. That I, I think it kind of stinks. <laughs> you're the saying that Waldo? because of where's Waldo? I agree. I agree. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it. But. but Aside, Ralph Waldo Emerson, great name. <laughs> All right, so like middle name, you can play off of different bag of apples entirely. But if but, you're no, first, no, but, if I came on here and I was like, "Hey, I'm Waldo Mech," you'd both leave. <laughs> we would, but that's to Mush's point because we think we're like, "Where are your stripes at? You lost <laughs> ass." Well, yeah, like we we'd just be frying you for that. So yeah, I, I, I found him. Yeah, so I, <laughs> we just circle him. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, Waldo. Mush, uh, Waldo Mick is kind of fire. See? <laughs> Ralph Waldo. <laughs> what are there yeah. any other names that are really just ruined from that? A Hitler. Hitler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? That was that was in sync. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Without question. We talk a lot of names here, Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Adolf. Yep. <laughs> Again, Adolf, oh. great name. It's like we found out Mush real Mush real name. Adolf Martin Martin Adolf name. Mush. I'd be like, hey man, I think <laughs> you're all right, guy on the level, but you know what I mean. Uh, we have a coworker. I want to see if either of you actually can guess who it is. Marty should know it. Tyler should never get this. We have a code uh, a coworker whose name is uh, Rudolph. 
Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Which is, I think, Rudy. better than his actual. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got to be Rudy. Yeah, I don't know. It has to be Rudy, but yeah. also it's insane. And it's, he, I was like, that's insane. And he was like, why? I was like, what do you mean, why? Uh, no, yeah, I've totally. Never I think met a Rudolph. Wrong. I'm listening. Like I'm wrong. I think you're wrong, Coley. I don't, think case, Rudolph, I don't think Rudolph the reindeer has that much pull. I think he's got so much pull. He literally pulled the entire sleigh, Mush. He, no. He's got good. He's got good pull though. Waddle has, has no good pull. It's a seasonal pull. Like in the summer, you call someone Rudolph. I'm never thinking about the. You're reindeer. a thousand percent thinking about the. Reindeer. You would. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> yeah, you would. Listen, I didn't even bring up the reindeer. You did, so that's yeah, already. Oh so, yeah, you think you think of the reindeer much? Much. I'm trying to help you, Daddy, but you think of the reindeer. <laughs> the fucking red nose. Like, you said Adolf. Like Adolf? Who? I don't know any. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it wasn't the month of the Holocaust. I didn't remember it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one month that happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Every August. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, no. Before we go further with this name talk, what, how many people do you think died in World War II? Uh, seven. Seven. No. I... <laughs> 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 I couldn't tell if the computer cut out. I thought most were just like, let me see. Uh, Tom. Uh, John F. Kennedy Sr. Uh, Amelia Earhart. Uh, you just like, <laughs> you're just counting D7. <laughs> Bro, I was trying to. At first, I was just saying seventeen thousand, but I just said seven, and then I wanted to re retract. <laughs> like I legit, I clicked back to my screen. I was like, let me make sure the computer didn't freeze because I just heard seven, and I'm like, like this, like this many, like seven, seven. Oh, like not shit. quite eight, but a little more than six. <laughs> I knew. I knew Mush was like still thinking, but watching Tyler go like with just seven. I couldn't believe it. The saddest thing is that like you actually thought I could actually have the answer of seven. I, look, I got this question wrong, so I'm not. This isn't right. I'm not, I yeah, asked I'm not the question specifically yeah. so we could laugh at how bad Tyler's was, and then Mush goes seven. See, <laughs> I'm a war buff. Yeah. All right. What war is this? The Cold War. Two. The second Cold one. War. <laughs> Cold War. How many people you think died in that one? Just as a reference, that, that like seven. I feel like the Cold War was bullshit. It's <laughs> okay, like we'll, we'll get back witch the, trials. Yeah, we'll get back I don't think Cold War, War had many bodies on the books. I think that was the whole point. It was all backdoor, like quiet. Bro, Thirty-two I, I deaths in the Cold War. I definitely thirty-two. Don't I don't know what happened. Is that right? Yep, thirty-two. Uh, Twelve wounded. <laughs> From the oh, this is from the United States. I'm sure it's like billions overseas. Yeah, from their point of view, World War Two. How, how many yeah. years did it last? Like like Twelve, like, right? Yeah. World War Two. I think it was, it was like seven or so. Two million. Eighty-five million. Uh, That's a lot of people. Of, much. Eighty-five uh, million people died. Tyler gets like twenty k. <laughs> Tyler, was, my first one was seventeen thousand, so I was with you. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. The light skirmishy. Well, yeah, <laughs> Donnie. Be honest, uh, if you watch those movies, they don't really. They always start off like in a line, then they shoot each other, and then they just look like they're hanging out in their bunker a lot. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's a cra- eighty-five million. That's what I said, much. It was oh. a problem. I need to see that answer. <laughs> Seven Seven's is a lot worse. Yeah. Seven's not great. <laughs> Seven. Dwight Eisenhower. <laughs> Mrs. Eisenhower. Uh. I couldn't breathe. Tyler was the most. He like, couldn't believe Seven. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that almost brought me back to like the first time I came on mixtape. And Tyler's what I thought Tyler had a way. <laughs> To win in gambling or something. Yeah. Only, only there was a way, huh? Yeah. You got one. Tell me, please. Seven. What you got? Yeah. Seven. I got. I, I bet seven. Everything I own. Seven. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be back, fellas. Now, what did you do last night? Did you do one of the challenges? 
Uh, it wasn't really a challenge. I just played a little beer pong thing against Loud Luxury. But tonight is – I have one at eight tonight, which is going to be a little oh, scary. Is yeah, this it's one just, of the fan uh, ones? Yeah, it's off a snack – the snack table off the top of a New Amsterdam bottle into a cup. It's a very mm. small surface. It is. It's it's. – I've realized I've picked one of the worst things to do over the quarantine. I would say the worst. Definitely. It's ah. not worse. No, I was going to say cat. Big Cat's like Cat Derby just because he's all, or he always has to do shit, but those are over quick. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I knew this shit was over in 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, I'll do it every day. Right. Or this- if you're just like, yeah, I'm running every day for 30 minutes. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, catch you tomorrow. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I actually think the unboxing's is worse. I-, I think that'll get tiring after. I mean, he's also getting gifts. I'm getting nothing. Yeah, but it's all stuff he could just buy at, like, much worse quality. Yeah. And, like, live animals. Yeah, but that's how being rich works. You, you only get things you could buy. For sure. I mean, the man just bought, he just paid $250,000 to see with Goodell. <laughs> that's going to go off without a hitch. I what makes me laugh hardest about that is like the NFL had to have a meeting today about that. Listen, you think that was <laughs> yeah. the only one? I no, that was the first dirt. of like yeah, no, six, the seventeen. No, but that's the thing. That's that's just there has to be an idiot in there who because it says congratulations, stool president. Like, how did no one see that was his name? How did I think it's like even? I think it's like an like automated thing. Right. Like, I feel oh. like that's whatever he put into it was gonna say congratulations X Y Z. Yeah. So okay. they just it was saw a silent auction too, right? Yeah. Now their thing, they sh- probably should have flagged it over a certain number and be like, "Who is this?" Guy? Oh no! Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, like, we're giving all the money to cancer. Cancer yeah. wins. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to develop more types. Uh, <laughs> even if this is, yeah, Dave can't lose here. If Goodell accepts no. it, he wins. If he turns it down, he's gonna get brass. He like roasted. That's the second meeting. What, yep. What's our? How do we come out of this looking less worse? <laughs> yeah, today's meeting was just like fuck, yeah. fuck. No, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> today's meeting is that they start doing Tuesday night football and cancel Monday night football. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, we said Monday night. We didn't NFL have phones. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Jones out on his ass. <laughs> All of America's like Tuesday. No, we're just gonna stop watching. Gail goes to like uh, Liberia, somewhere like extradition. He's like, "You're not making me come back to hang out with that man, (laughs) that mean, mean man." (laughs) Do you think he's gonna yell Hitler like in his face, like sitting in, like let's say, like we get the dream scenario where like this actually happens, and he's just the funny. The the funnier part about this is that. Dave's gonna be back gambling on sports. So like hit Dave getting mad at his sports gambling and Goodell is gonna be the quite the combo. <laughs> I'm just picturing Goodell being like, I told you to take the Niners. Fuck you. I was gonna say, yeah, what the <laughs> what if Goodell just rolls with all the punches perfectly, man? Like Goodell just to a man shows up and is like, listen, man, he's I, too I, dumb I, for that. I, no, I agree. It would never have he doesn't have any personality like to pull that off. Because but if, if he it did, was, we'd all be on his side. Yeah, right. off the can- yeah, he's busting Dave's balls. Like they're just yeah, like going back just- and forth. It's like I kind of like Roger Goodell now. <laughs> like he just puts Dave in a box. I'm like, wow, fits, like just fits Goodell, dude. Oh, I, I keep Dave, picturing turns right snack. in front. Of him. <laughs> 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 this, this, yeah, like this is the 250 grand you sent, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sets it in front. <laughs> yeah, or if. Dave walks down the steps and he just crow hop punches him in the belly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or they just have a nice time, dude. He's like sitting down, like, oh, can you pass me the mini weenies? And like, just like a bunch yeah, of That would infuriate me. Dale's got a that. great brain. <laughs> yeah, I needed to. I, yeah, I don't know. I needed to be. Because you're right. There's a, there's a, uh, a chance he shows up. And he gets so invested in his bet, he completely forgets Goodell's right next to him. Yes, I know, because I've been in that situation, and it's not a good situation. (laughs) (laughs) Well, have I told you guys about this guy 
who DMs me facts every day. No, I feel like you should have a long time ago, though. I know. I've been taking a lot of them for myself, like thinking like I came up with it and shit. Positive. But, yeah. That's, um, Big thief, what? Martin J. Mo. <laughs> oxygen, the Billy Billy of sports you gambling. Guys, you guys hear about this oxygen thing? <laughs> What's um, today's fact? Today's fact was, let's go down to today. When you sneeze, your heart stops. I've known that one. Well, Let me give you someone one. listening might not. That's not the point. Your heart stops when you sneeze. Everyone knows that. That's why people say, God that. bless you. You didn't know that? No, I don't think so. Well, say, Montana. Did you why it starts it up again? Montana has three times as many cows as humans. Now, that's just insane. I believe, I believe that. that. Yeah. How do you believe that, dude? <laughs> a Montana. state like that. Yeah. A state like that, I hope they didn't shut down for all this. Because if they did, they were just trying to like fit in and act cool. They didn't need social distancing in Montana. That's all they have. If they did, it was for the animals. Like an animal <laughs> caught it. Not for humans. But... Dude, it was, you, would, you would be embarrassed of how many times I tried to go cow tipping when I was younger. A lot of cows in New York? Not a lot. Couldn't find Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh... After the fourth time, you would think we realized we can't really find cows just hanging out. Mush was my Madison Square Garden. Like, where where are they? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Did you ever succeed? Have you ever tipped a cow? No, I've never tipped a cow. I've always wanted to because I heard they just can't get up. I would help it up. But... I'm, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure they die when you do that. I was going to say, you're not helping it up. That's yeah, just you how give it a hand? hand? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, dude? <laughs> Yeah, my bad pal. <laughs> yeah, come on, uh, Daisy. Up yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> We're just fucking around. They say, Can we, let me get you up. Yeah, <laughs> something that can't get up to their point. That something they created something called cow tipping. You think it's just like, ah, right, y'all got me. I, I like, uh, I hop up. They hop up off their feet without using their hands, like uh, receivers do sometimes. <laughs> that front flip challenge going on right now. Yeah. The what? Have you not seen these people? Dude, you know. Come on. Internet. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, people are sending you only challenges right now. I thought this might have crossed your timeline. In fact. No, yeah. Yeah, in fact. Uh, no, it's people like kind of like in a plank position. And then they kind of just like scorpion their back leg up. Like while like laying flat and doing like a front flip stand up. That's. Uh, I don't like athletic things. Okay. Do you? <laughs> Not like it. watching them, yeah, no. but it's not. It's like there are accountants that can do that. You know, I don't want to see an accountant. I guarantee do there's no it. single accountant who can do that. I feel like that sounds impressive. I feel like for a while it was the uh, can you jump out of a pool? Right. It's like okay, yeah, again, that's really impressive. But I feel like everybody kind of knows somebody that can do that. Like that's it is. It's still really impressive, but. Yeah, like when I see people in real life windmill, it's like yeah, I've seen that a thousand times. Still impressive. Right. Who are you seeing someone windmill? What do you mean? You see nobody in your life that can windmill. At basketball courts all the time I see windmills. All the time. What, what, you play at the Celtics fucking practice place? It's not. Run, uh, well, who are these fat slobs you're playing? Other than me and the person. With the net, guy, yeah. who, other than us two. Who are these fat slobs? Oh, you only him. See? The guy who just joined him. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Hey fellas. Dana B. How we doing? What's your, uh, what's your favorite name these days, Dana? Name I'm saying how we doing on every Zoom call you join. I mean everyone I'm... he goes, How we doing? No I'm, sorry. Okay, early. I'm sorry, Marty, my fault. What is the question? What's your favorite name these days? Is that a topic of conversation on on Pick's tape? I just fucking asked you the question. Um why why are you gonna ask top three? Give us the top three. What are what are some names Dana B's feeling these days? Girl or guy. Oh my god. Three names, dude. <laughs> three fucking names. First, middle, or last. English, <laughs> yeah. American, like Spanish, uh like. I don't I haven't been thinking about names much lately, but I guess LeGerald for LeGerald Vic. I don't know. I like that name a lot. LeGerald? <laughs> he was on Canvas a couple of years ago. Yeah. 
Great name. <laughs> I know. That's a great name, though. LeGerald's great. Um, I had a Jamichael in mind. My school. Tony. I like the name Tony a lot. Okay, like and, short for Antonio or just, just straight Tony? No, short for Anthony. Okay. And probably Jeff. G or J. You Jeff. started off so fat, so high, and then Tony and Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I, we went from LeGerald to Jeff. <laughs> LeGerald and Jeff. Those LeGerald are the boys. below. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him we went on runs today? Yeah, we went on a run today, me and Dana. Oh, yeah? Well, one of us went on a run. The other one went on a run slash walk. Was that you? Yep. <laughs> Way to go, stopped. Marty. Yeah, he stopped real fast. He goes, I'm stopping. I was like, how long was the run walk? About a mile and a half. Yeah, it was like 1.7. That's a healthy run. Mush, I'm surprised your lungs can do that. Yeah, no, my I'm weirdly good at just like not doing things for three years and just stepping, just running and going. You know, that won't last. Olympic, Olympic level athlete. I mean, dude, I've lost nine pounds during quarantine, and That's I have two theory. people, two people in my house trying to lose weight, and they've just gained it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting here eating Oreos and shit. I literally lost nine pounds. I was one. 84 and I weigh 176 now. That's I'm getting worried now. Damn. I know it's not good. Well, anytime I'm a grown man in the 170s, I get worried. Yeah, that's a lot. At six want, four as well. I was gonna say, yeah, you're not a you're not a short guy, Mush. I'd like you I'd like you to eat a little something, my friend. Have you found you've been pooping more since you've been at home all day? No, not really. He ain't eating nothing. He ain't pooping out. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's the thing, Dana. I eat trash, right? You you have a lot of snacks and your meals aren't huge though. You don't have big meals. Uh, I don't know. You don't. I don't think you eat that much. I think you you don't eat as much as you think. You need to drink water. You need to drink more water, Marty. I'm worried about that for you because you. I see you drink. I haven't seen you drink water once. I've been here for two months. I know. But like, you know how. You know you Where heat up some. Uh, you heat up some spaghetti and Tupperware. And the stain stays there. I know that's how mush a toilet bowl looks because this piss got to oh. be like just yeah, bro. Tyler, solid. Brown how did shit. you know? Because I know what you drink, mush. I would love to show you my toilet right now. I'd love for you to not show me. <laughs> it's, I know. it's not from me. It's from Nick, and you know it's from Nick. Oh, Nick Blast, man, he's the growth. I fought. I literally fought with Nick for like twenty minutes yesterday about cleaning the house. Dana, how bad was it? It was you almost threw a punch, and also I want to say about that. <laughs> I, love I really, guy. I really almost punched him. I love the guy, but Jordan over here. It says a lot when my bed right over here on this couch. I can't sleep there anymore because he was sitting there yesterday. <laughs> what, I, was he, what you said yesterday, Dana? It's amazing of how he like doesn't give a shit about anything. No, I said his level of not giving a shit is truly incredible. <laughs> it is. About anything. Like, he just doesn't. Nothing. Like... I mean, it he'll still kind of film shit. these fucking idiots for 12 hours. Like, you have to have less care in the right. world if you're willing to do that for well, free. If you ever watch, which I know you do, um, it's pretty much like he's filming himself the whole time. <laughs> well, he there are points. right on himself when, we, when he hits it. There are certainly points where uh, it's dragging and it needs to become the me and, and Nikki B show. I agree. That is, that is true. Like when it's over an hour in, it's like in this here ping pong balls. It's like, all right, I need Coley. I need, I need Buddha Ben. That's usually at two o'clock in the morning. The Buddha Ben being like the number one guy in there every time I shoot it in is incredible. <laughs> incredible. Hey, good vibes, man. Buddha Ben. Grave vibes, just high as a kite the entire me and, time. Me and Buddha Ben got into like an argument about the best way to make stuffed mushrooms like four, three or four ago. This is what yeah. quarantine is about. That and this is already much wasting away. Quarantine. We it's got an F like and a. Oh, yeah. It's a, we got an F in the social distancing grade. <laughs> really? It's not going well. They let like. 
they opened up the driver's license so teenagers could come get it if their parents pretty much just said you could get a driver's license. And like, I think 15,000 people got licenses like that. So you can say things are going well. That is something. Are there like 25% restaurants open? Oh, it's way more than 25%. <laughs> so no one gives a fuck there. No. The last, either last week, no, two weeks ago, I started seeing like uh, dine in open, but like minimum number on the people inside. Then I dine in and outside open. And then like last week, it was pretty much open. no more limits, man. This should look like normal out here. Except that's everybody's wild. still wearing masks. So <laughs> that's what, bro, that's what people think. They could do anything as long as they're wearing masks. As long as they. <laughs> You guys yeah. see that restaurant yesterday that was on uh, Twitter where it was like jam packed and there was one person wearing a mask? No. At that point, too, it's like when you're that jam packed, that mask isn't doing anything. So like, well, you thing. you aren't helping either. You get out. What, or take off the mask, like. What? Dana, can you shut up, Rudy? I I today has been really bad. He he's he's had it. I think it's the thunder that's been getting him. Maybe give him some water. Yeah. He's not my pet. I'm not the one taking care of him. Dana, you've head. been living in someone else's house for like two months now. I think you could chip in every now and then. Chip in? Oh, I'm already. <laughs> Can you get tell us that? No, Dana. Hey, stay on your ground, man. Tell me you ain't doing shit. Again, I'm not a fat shamer. I'm not a slob shamer. But fucking Nick, that fat fuck, <laughs> doesn't do anything. <laughs> I have done so much more in my one month of time than him in his whole 29 years. Of I'm not time. a fat slob shaver, but let me tell you about that fat slob, Nick. Bro, <laughs> this trio of us is something. We good. have a camera, like a we have like a real camera now. So we were gonna get some some behind the scenes of this. It's quite a. It's like we're literally the Three Stooges. Like it's easily. bad. Dana made me a sandwich today. I did. Kind of okay. really. That's what I mean. I have chipped in a lot, and you can't even deny it. I mean, uh, barbecue chicken cold cut with cheese, and okay. I put on I put some chips, barbecue chips on the plate. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, he didn't expect that. I Chef didn't. That's a nice surprise. Chef Dana, bit now I say this much: you letting a man that been traveling in these streets cook your dinner. <laughs> You're also letting a man who's notoriously bad for making sandwiches make your sandwiches. I was gonna say, was it any condiment? I know no, Dana's the not a wasn't on, though, so he didn't Dragon. spill it all over my floor. <laughs> Fair. I put some mustard on mine today, actually. Okay. I still Tommy. can't believe that you used to do that. You used to just like, spill all your cereal on the floor and just take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, didn't, you, didn't you spill pasta one time, too? Wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, spilled, I spilled a fresh batch of mac and cheese, and people thought I did it on purpose. Jeez. Mac, because that's what you it did. Marty, that at the time, and it still does make me very mad. Why would I do that? <laughs> because you were just trying to get some followers, some, some clicks. How oh, many followers do you have at this point, Dana B? You weren't a superstar yet. Wait, you know one I mean? sec. Before this is your rookie that, year. Dana, what did you say to me yesterday? <laughs> what? What did you say to me about your followers yesterday? Oh, they're, they're, they keep going down. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Marty. I've plateaued. I can't get nothing. I can't get nothing going. I'm I'm either stuck or going down every day. It sucks. I buy how much? Well, the thing is, it's because Big Cat did that thing where he responded to my tweet saying, do the beer tweet. So now everybody, if I don't tweet about beer, they're like, who is this guy? Right. And also... Weren't you up to like 170? What? Was the high up to like 170? Oh, no, no, no. My highest I've been is 145. I'm at 144.8 as of today. Okay, so you're you're tracking, tracking, like yeah. Okay. I don't want to, but it's like if I li- like live, I live tweeted the Jordan Doc last. Not live tweet. I had like two tweets, and oh, I lost boy. like a hundred followers. <laughs> that's that's like the easiest time to get followers <laughs> and like likes. Yeah, mine go like, mine go up during that. I said, it's "Wow, so you don't really anything, Jordan." Said, wow, real. five thousand retweets. I said, wow, Tito Francona is in this. That guy is the man or something. That yeah, lost me like 30. That is funny, though. In like, If What's you one? make too much of a joke of something, it goes over people's heads. I said um, Michael Jordan said he was going to drop 37 against LeBradford Smith, but he only dropped 36. He's a bum. 
Not your best word, Danny B. No, but I was just firing from the hip, you know. I gotta tell you, that's a bad tweet. <laughs> I don't care. I don't think you do, man. <laughs> yeah. Someone, I, I, I only really care because someone, I, I only care on. because I feel like it's part of my job now where like I can't be losing followers. It's not that, a good look. No, so the that, thing is you don't know what your job is, Dana. You have no, no idea. I don't. I have no clue. You went You're from right, like I wanna man. I wanna stop doing editing, but then I wanna I want to do merch, but then I want to do content. Maybe I should do all three. I don't know. You have no idea. Well, let's just shoot them straight. I suck at content. Yeah, we know uh, that. Yes. Yep. Oh, oh, we know. That. <laughs> That's not true. But uh, yeah. so you said you're the Bradford Smith uh, terrible tweet, and someone uh, at brisket and ribs, strong at, said, are you even relevant anymore or are you just an alcoholic now? God damn. I get a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to it? Are you, just, you are you you glad above the haters? I get a lot of your 15 minutes are over, dude. No, my favorite's like people forget Dana's 27 doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like what they thought he was older? Young? Like what? <laughs> like a young, like a 18 year old, 21 year old to do this. He's 22, it's his first beer. Let him have a zillion of them. <laughs> Dana's like, I'm 36. <laughs> I don't know. I got. I got to figure it out. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Did not we'll, foresee t- Tito Francona being in this documentary. Guy is a weapon. Yeah, it's a bad tweet. Not great. It's just not a good tweet. I, that, I think the guy is a weapon. I think you did a little too much. I right. think you could have stopped it. Wow, I didn't know T uh, Francona was in. I'm not a good tweeter. I'm not good at much. I just. I don't know. I had a, a skyrocket that had way too many followers, and now I don't know what to do. I'm telling you, people think people want followers till they get them. Mm-hmm. No, that's what I've you. I remember what you say forever. It's the perfect number is around ten thousand. Once you hit ten thousand, it's like you're fucked forever. It just when you hit what? I'm pretty sure we told you that. No, that's what I said. Tyler said that, mm-hmm. and, I, and then I was like, once you hit ten k, you can't say a single thing on Twitter without like. Someone disagreeing with you. Mm-hmm. No, but that's what I think 10,000 followers is exactly 10,000 followers is exactly where you want to be. Yeah. Because you have to yeah, take. Yeah, that's my point. I, think that's, that's, I, think, yeah, I think that's the perfect amount. Yeah, because you have the K and it's not, nobody, no one really cares about you, but some people are interested. You have enough to get answers. You have enough to get answers and start a conversation anytime you want. That's really all you need. 10K is the amount, too, where you're not just, like, shouting into a void. Anymore, That's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, you can, you can, I can have a legit conversation with people. I can get some differing apo- uh, viewpoints without people calling me a dickhead. <laughs> After that, I mean, yeah. all, all dickhead. <laughs> where we're all at now is, like, I just donated 100 grand to charity. What a dickhead you are. You Go are to hell, like, yeah. <laughs> like, no matter what you do, there's someone yelling at you. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I, and uh, what was I going to say? Oh, my new thing, it's actually, I know Tyler does this a lot, is I just mute the conversation as soon as I tweet because I don't like hearing what people say. Yeah. Anytime yeah. I do it, anytime I make one that I know is going to at least piss off one, like not even like a, like a fun troll, but I know people are going to be like actually mad, I'll send it immediately. Um, yeah. Uh oh, Marty's dead. Did he it's lose the same dude? internet. Yeah, how did this? <laughs> Did your computer die? I had to, yeah. No, there he is. Hey, it's like a <laughs> fucking Brady Bunch. Uh, Hollywood <laughs> Square. <laughs> what were you just saying, Dana? I was saying my new thing oh, is... Oh, mute, mute. Yeah, mute. muting the conversation as soon as I tweet. No, I, I, yeah, like I did it yesterday when I... I, uh, I didn't... I don't mute anyone because it just takes too much time for me. But the... Uh, <laughs> like when I tweet about the White Sox... <laughs> I get it so much. I get so much. Like people thought I was serious that Michael Jordan be the best MLB player if he didn't play for the White Sox. I mean, it's a good tweet. It's kind of true, but it's also open up your so mind that, a little bit. You dipped into baseball. That's another bad one because they somebody always got a number that's going to disagree with what you got to say. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it earlier, like watching Jordan like giddily run up to Ken Griffey Jr. to ask for his autograph. Like Michael Jordan, that was like the only athlete that could start, like make Michael Jordan starstruck in the nineties. And 
baseball Twitter treats Griffey like he was like the eighth best outfielder of the nineties. I hate that shit. Well, listen, that and they didn't even mention him wearing penny shoes. Uh, <laughs> which, no, I get it, but hey, Jordan used to be a fanboy too. That's fine. He was just also a maniac. Big time. I didn't realize he said "ho" as often as he clearly oh, did. Yeah. Great yeah, shit talker. Ho is funny. Great shit talker. Jamal, no, I knew he was a great. <laughs> I knew he was a great shit talker, but that doesn't mean like, oh yeah, everyone knows if you're a great shit talker, you need to have "ho." And like, but you know, I, I feel like the thing is, all, all the greats do have it in their bag. Oh, for sure. But he's his, that was like his his like his like first ten plays. Yeah. yeah. It was this delivery though. It was like ho. And like yeah. when I say it's like ho, it's like whoa, dude. Yeah. Does, Mar- does Marty weird. tell you what his plan is for uh, live tweets during the Jordan doc? No. He ma- he he says them out loud in front of me and Nick, and if we laugh, then he tweets it. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. And if That's we don't laugh, he doesn't. A filter. Smart. A filter, interesting. Very smart. Yeah, I've had I've said things offhand that's gotten a big reaction in the room, and I'll just absolutely send that off real quick. Bro, I stop myself mid saying thing. If I call, I'm gonna say this to three people when I can say it to one hundred thousand. Bro, I just tweeted the Waldo thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear I really did. I did like you have had a lot of like the C. Well, you've had a lot of stuff start here that you've taken to Twitter later. Yeah, no, so many times. Well, dude. Sure. The Waldo. <laughs> Wait, let me. Jordan came up. I do want to ask you like a fake, legit sports question. Jordan's addicted to competing, right? We can all yeah. agree with this. Why do the Hornets suck? Like, what? How does that not transfer over? Because they're just mediocre. Like they, they can't. What I'm saying. But he owns them, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, how anything – it's not even just basketball. We saw him tossing quarters with the fucking security guys. When he did he, better, when did he start that? owning them? Because he bought in for a portion, but he got full owner, or majority ownership a couple years ago, I will see. And they just haven't been good since. That is the weirdest thing, how, like, you it. always forget that. You would think Michael Jordan owning a team would be a much bigger deal. Like, almost like uh, – yeah. Mark Cuban with the Mavericks, like you know, Mark Cuban is all around, blah blah. Jordan doesn't. I feel like he does shit. <laughs> what and because, let me see. How involved 20, do you think he is? Twenty eleven. Oh, in 20, 2006, he bought a minority stake, but in two thousand eleven, he got up to a majority. Um, so oh, enough, like seven days, enough, enough time to be like, okay, they stink under his reign. Do you think he just doesn't care because he's not playing? It's like whatever. I think it's that like the franchises have grown in value so much. Like somebody told me today, I think since the time he got in, he's made eight times his money. Which again, I get. But if you're really just addicted to competitive thing, it's not about the money. Yeah. It's about not being a laughing stock. Like why? That, I don't understand how that doesn't translate. Are they a full like the Knicks are a laughing stock? The Hornets are bad, but I don't like. I don't think people yeah. care enough for them to be a laughing stock. I think I feel like that would almost piss Jordan off. Like, oh, they don't care about us at all. Like, right. So, and I could even see, I'm not saying this would make him a good GM. Like, if he was going 100 miles an hour, good. like in I, the I, wrong way, yeah. In the wrong way, yeah. So he's, I, I guess honestly, he's handled, I think I'd really, rather be a laughing stock than the Hornets. I don't have, like, they're, they're, they're like no man's land. They're in, yeah, like they have no, like, I'm going to use a word. I don't know if it's right, trajectory to go. Yeah. Anywhere, like the Knicks, at least that was good. (laughs) Yeah, you did did good. Like the Knicks are so bad. Yeah, uh, they can at least try and do something a little spruce it up. Like the Hornets could get somebody up. Like ah, they're still gonna suck. Yeah, like the Pistons. Pistons are just like fucked. Like that's just how it goes. (laughs) So fucked. (laughs) Knicks. Every six months, they're gonna talk themselves into. uh, Well, not they don't talk themselves into it. The media starts these stories. So I'll say that right. for the Knicks fans. So they're not coming from nowhere, but yeah, every well, six to eight like, months. A lot of the Knicks fans we interact with are level-headed and smart. There are some right. psycho Knicks oh, fans who think every year is the year for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like LeBron was by, was definitely going to the Knicks. KD was going to the Knicks. Kyrie oh, yeah. was going to the Knicks. <laughs> I'll say that I, re- I really do think they had KD and Kyrie in the bag uh, until DeAndre Jordan got there. <laughs> That's the like, problem. There's always a thing. That's, right? that's the, yeah, and then they don't have in the bag, and then the Knicks look up and don't have a bag. So. Yeah, 
<laughs> and, then, and, and, and then going to the uh, the Nets is so bad for the Knicks. Like it's so hard to get to the Brooklyn Nets stadium. It's so hard. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really not, Marty. <laughs> oh my God, the travel is so hard. That. There's a train. Like I live like four stops from there. It's so have you easy. ever even been to Brooklyn? Yeah, I went up to Duke. They they played in a uh, their tournament like two years ago. Where was your start where, before you worked for us? Yeah, coming so from drove in? Arkham was a little different. <laughs> you no, I took the train in. Even that that goes right there. I'll say that I'll, I don't understand how people like rich people. If you're Kevin Durant, I don't understand how did you get to the next step. Like, what? Like, where do you live? That's close enough. But it's also still he's wildly rich. Like, yeah. I mean, I know it's probably just condos. He probably just owns a condo on the thirty second floor or something somewhere. But oh, well, dude, yeah. isn't that like? Uh, I mean, like JJ Redick, he would just drive from New York to Philly. Philly. Oh, to Philly, right? Yeah, that's what he would just do. Yeah, yeah that was chaos because his like I can understand. Yeah, how long is it like, drive? We took a train, but how long is it like drive drive? It's like oh. an hour or so. Okay. No, it's that's- not. Yes, it is. One hour to Philadelphia? No, it's yeah. not. You got to like guess maybe a little bit more. That's what I get. Two hours. No, it's not it that is. far. Oh. Yeah. 95 miles. It's an hour and 42 minutes. I'm closer. I win. But even I don't think that, like, that's from, where did you type in, Tyler? I just said New York to Philly. So, right. yeah. So it, type in yeah. Brooklyn to Philly. Let's see. Brook. Marty's going to argue New York and Brooklyn aren't the same while arguing how hard it is to get to Brooklyn from oh. New York. Brooklyn to Philly is 100 miles, two hours. Oh, oh. So further. All right. <sighs> Which is on the board. Oh. But also, like, I know, like, Wilt Chamberlain used to do that, but I get it. Like, he would just wake up and, like, take the train because he wanted to still live in New York. Reddick driving, that's, that's chaos. Yeah, Reddick's He's now Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, man. How many laughing stocks are there in the NBA, though? Like the Knicks are a laughing stock. I th- are the Kings? I think the Kings are a laughing stock. Do you? They're kind of. They're not like terrible. They are though. They're terrible. Yeah. I mean the the cat the Cavs the Cavs are now one. I would say the yeah, Cavs. Yeah. The Suns. I think the Suns are a laughing stock. I th- see. I think the Suns are closer to Charlotte. Like I feel like they should. They're they're a laughing stock with their own fans, but I don't know about nationally. Fair. So that's what I'm wondering. Like, how many like national laughing stocks are there? Like, I are the Knicks the only team like everybody in the world could agree or laugh? Well, <laughs> Even the, the Knicks. Yeah, the King, the Kings and the Suns actually have players. Like the Knicks have nobody. True, but that's the thing. They have players and he does shit. Like no, that's the thing. Yeah, I feel like the, getting players. The Gar Packs Bulls were kind of a laughing stock. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, like now, now that they're they're gone, are the Bulls a laugh? I feel like they're just regular bad right now. Like they. I don't think they're laughing stock that are the Timberwolves. I feel like the Timberwolves are kind of laughing because they had the one good year, but it's still been like they no playoff. Be, yeah. Year. yeah, I feel like they're laughing. Stock. I don't think the Suns are a laughing stock. No, I don't either. Okay, fair. With their own fans, they absolutely are. So, yeah, like, nationally, yeah. they're not. Well, not- I think everyone, everyone's teams was side, like they always, everyone has a problem with everything with their own teams. Yeah, I'm trying to think besides of more, the Patriots. <laughs> Yeah, it's like nobody like the Pistons are not a laughing stock. Nobody cares, which again, that might be worse. Right. Um, and they were they were I don't feel like why like the reason they're bad is all their fault. Some of yeah. it is, but like uh, like all, a couple of these other teams, like at the Knicks, it's all their fault. Uh sure. Phoenix, it's all their fault. Right. Like Detroit, I feel like they just like if Stanley Johnson hit, they're they look completely different. Well, I'll say, and again, that's the thing, like because for Minnesota, they had like they rolled the dice for Butler. It worked till it didn't. Right. And again, they like they rolled the dice for D'Angelo. So it's like I think like owner wise, they're clearly a laughing stock. But if it's it's like they usually keep talent. If it's Towns or Love or Garnett or right. Russell, like they usually keep some talent. So I don't know if they're a laughing stock per se. So it's sad to say that the Knicks are just like the only laughing. I think stock. the Knicks like, <laughs> don't unanimous. Uh, they might be the only <laughs> like it's. Let's just take it out of basketball. American pro sports. The Browns. The Br- I think the Bengals are a laughing stock. See, I almost think people don't care. I think they're a laughing stock. And I'm, I might be biased I mean, there. I, I, think, I, I might be biased yeah. too, but I think the Mets are. 
Mets are because like, they have they've got players, but then they just stink. I don't think of them as a laughing like it's just kind of a casual in and out baseball. I just I don't think of them as a laugh. Like I just think there's the most absurd things that like them hiring Beltron, then they have to fire him like right away, like shit like that. They batted out of order like very recently. I mean, they literally bat. That's not talked about <laughs> that at all, dude. That is pretty. Like they literally the, with- the lineup card is in front of their face, and they <laughs> batted uh, out of order. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happening uh, against your please- Reds, Tyler. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the guy hit like a double too that bad out of order. I, I, I feel like the Pirates. No, Pirates are a laughing stock. I, I feel like they're kind of one of those like everybody, even people that don't know baseball, are like, yeah, the Pirates are bad, right? I think, I, yeah, but I don't know if that makes you a laughing stock. If everybody, not even baseball fans, know you bad, that's pretty. That's rough. I, like you, I just you, think you, a laughing stock is when you have the money, you have the city, and you get some players, but everything just goes wrong. They just ruin it every time. That would be like every – so is that every big market then? So it's like every big market should technically cook? I guess, yeah. Because you can't say like the Cincinnati Reds are a laughing stock because they just have like $4 in their, in their, in their roles. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like, we're, you know, Oakland A's, we're trying our best, please. Yeah. Well, like, no, because, like, what I will say is, like, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays were a laughing stock. Mm-hmm. And yes. they had no money. But ever since they became the Rays, they've been, like, a respectable organization. If, and also, if Moneyball never came out, the A's would be a laughing stock. Definitely. Are the, great, Jets, yeah, great are the Jets a laughing stock? I think the Jets are a laughing stock. Jets, I think, I think, that's Lions. I think the Jets are a laughing stock. Lions? I kind of feel like the Lions. I was going to say Marlins. I was like the Lions or the Marlins have two titles, and I still kind of feel like they're a laughing stock because That's everybody the, knows it's like they won and then immediately punted everything. The Marlins Twice. have never lost a playoff series. I can't, <laughs> in good faith, call them a laughing stock. Hey, listen, what, how many seasons have they been around? Was it two for twenty-five? I, I'm laughing. That's not bad. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's like. The way they do it. If you win the two and don't defend them, whatever, you win and then immediately tear them down. Yeah. So, <laughs> Listen, they, really, uh, like, like they've, they've won two more World Series titles than the Bengals have playoff games since they became a franchise. Like that, you, you can't be a laughing stock. stock. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But like that, one of those teams can't be a laughing stock. That's fair. Okay, then my vote's the Bengals because I think the Bengals are laughing. So. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. That's okay. like the, yeah. the Lions. The Lions have gone something like eleven thousand days since they uh, won a playoff game. That's a laughing stock. Like over those eleven thousand days, the Marlins yeah. have won two World Series. No, like, you can't. I think that's fair. <laughs> I, 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 that, I think the Lions and Bengals are both because they both have stupid streaks. That's like fine. That. Yeah, that's and, fine. Yeah. And, and the Lions are paying like their quarterback ninety million dollars, and like that's the funniest <laughs> part. A lot of bread. Yeah, I can't believe Tyler was an actual Bengals fan for a long time. I can't believe it either, man. Were you there for the the like? Were you an actual fan during the Marvin Lewis days? Oh yeah, uh, those are all of the days. Up oh until, yeah. like, last year. I don't. I don't know when he when he jumped off the bandwagon. I know. I got off. Uh, if you remember when they lost the last playoff game to the Steelers, when they yeah. just completely melt. That's where I was. That was the last game. Right. Okay. So like that game, extreme. Like having a loss like that. Yeah. Only happens to laughing stock kind I, of. A, I agree. Like the yeah. thing was the first one I mentioned. I think they're the the laughingest. Extremely the laughing stock. Yeah. To lose I think they're worse than the Knicks. Did Marvin of- Lewis ever win a first first round game? No. No. But he keeps stock. getting hired everywhere. He <laughs> will not go away. He yeah, no, they made no it, way. I think. Five or six, and once they lost that last one, I was like, "It's just never going to happen." No, and it hasn't. Ha- they haven't made the play. They haven't had a winning season since. So some would say, "I was the good luck holding that team together." How about uh, Redskins? I, it stinks, but I think they've had like too much relative success to be considered last. Really? Like the oh, yeah. you talk to anybody like older than us, the Skins are like a powerhouse in their mind. Like the old uh, Joe Gibbs, he won three. Oh, I like, get that. Yeah. I get that. But boy, oh boy, have they? I feel like they've been a laughing stock ever since RG three got hurt. 
Oh, they, listen, if they were laughing stock, it was far before that. But again, I th- like when does the success thing, when does that cut off? Because it was a while ago, but it was also like three Super Bowls success. Like that's. It has to wear off. That can't be like you won one. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. They didn't well. win one though. They won like, I want to see how many. Three I get that. And, yeah. How, so how long does it last? Because like, I would argue for 86 years, the Red Sox were a laughing stock. Strong agree. Very, but then very that, that switch, you know what I mean? Like it can go both ways. Like the Yankees were not a laughing stock. Then Aaron Judge played that boom box. They were a laughing stock. I mean, they're the not Yankees a laughing never be a, yeah, The, Yankees the Red never Sox be a are player. going back to being a laughing stock. Their team's the Yankees crap. were a 3 0 lead. They were absolutely a laughing stock. That's they're not a laughing true. Stock. The Yankees will never be a laughing stock. They have 20. I'm not yeah. going to say. I'm yeah, not going to say. I'm not going to say. Gonna say, I'm I'm gonna say. Gonna Marty, Liz Gonzalez, Mush. They I'm were just, absolutely a laughing stock when they blew a 3 0 lead. Uh, for I'll one be, series, that don't, I mean, that don't count. They're the one yeah. team to ever do it. Still, that don't mean they're laughing stock to Red Sox fan and nobody else. They're not a That's direct, not true. Nobody uh, else. The Yankees are not a laughing stock. No, I don't mean forever, but I'm saying back, like when that happened, they were for sure laughing stock. I mean, if that's the case, then anybody that has like one bad series is a la- like. The 73 no, win that's, Warriors. Histor- that's historically bad. Like are, are the seventy three win Warriors a laughing stock? Yeah, absolutely. But does that make the Warriors like as a franchise? No, 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 no. That, I'm talking about different things. Yeah, no. Okay. no like, now it, you change the entire. I was gonna say yeah, that's, yeah, that's the entire thing. Well, my original thing that I still believe is true is ever since Aaron Judge broke out that boombox, they've been a laughing stock. You guys disagree? That's fine. So then I said, Marty said they've never been a laughing stock. To which I said, Yeah, when they blew in a three zero lead, they were absolutely. In what, a yeah, that's when we went from like franchise into like individual. Individual. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, like the Redskins, they made the Super Bowl, lost in 82, won it in 83. And then what, another one in the early 90s? Won it in 87, won it in 91. And since then, they've won one, two, three. They've won three playoff games, made three other ones. Like, I I don't think they're like, in comparison to the Bengals and Lions, would you say 11,000 days? No, for sure. But I don't like those Super Bowls going to be there. That's like 30 years ago as of next year. You know what no, I mean? I, There's, I, but even then, if you take since those Super Bowls, yeah, three and three, yeah. The Lions would kill for that. For sure. That's why the Bengals hey. would kill for that. That's why. Do you think, do you think the Lions would trade three playoff wins for every year being dragged through the press for having a racist name? Yes. <laughs> and I don't think. I, I, I think every owner in the world. Would. Three playoff wins? That's not nearly enough. Because you know how much merch they sell? Like, the Redskins are famous. Like, just having, <laughs> just having the D.C., like, fanhood, just being one of those NFC East, like, core four, like, yeah. That's why they're... What do you, what do you think about the Texans being a, a laughing stock? Because they've just they just go to the wild card every year and lose. Now, well, they no, they win one and lose one. I feel like that's yeah. every so I, I don't think I can call them a laughing stock. Right, they beat the Bengals and then lose to the Patriots. So it's like hard. Yeah. To yeah. Call them a so I, I, I yeah. think that's like, but like then now they're trading their best player. Like they're just Bill O'Brien's a laughing stock. Yeah, I don't that's, know, like, that's, that's undebatable. But I'll that's say, a yeah. fact. The Chiefs, similar to the Red Sox, were like a laughing stock yep. until, until they weren't, and now they'll right. never be a laughing stock again. So, laughing stock's a great word. Like, laughing stock's fun. <laughs> I was just great trying term. to when you're just in the shackles and yeah. everyone in the town like walking by. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to Google what it was and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense either because uh, like a laughing stock, like uh, it's not like a stocking, you know. Well, it's not laughing stocking, you know. Yeah, stock is also its own word. Well, it's not a, it's not a, on Wall Street either. A person who is subjected to general mockery or ridicule. (laughs) Yeah, but what is a stock? Could have been sure for stocking. Ooh, okay, I got one. Are the Buffalo Bills a laughing stock? Thousand percent. Thousand percent. Dana's not going to answer it, but a thousand percent. That's why I want. I'm, 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 I think Mushroom can be. Well, because they're, they're good now. 
That's what I'm saying. So like what? They, yeah, they that doesn't make that. That kind of takes away a little bit of their shittiness. No, the it, they're yeah. laughing stock because everyone they those fans still think they're so relevant, but they actually suck. <laughs> like yeah, they're, still the table, they're but, just now on the other side where hey, they don't suck anymore. Yeah. They're an interesting case because now they they are absolutely a laughing stock, but they're a laughing stock. They're kind of like a, the Browns. They're a laughing stock with expectations. The difference is the, the Bills have built this like cult of personality around them, where you like their fans. And it mm. almost kind of deflects on how like irrelevant and bad the team has been. Yeah, like the Browns are like they're the ones like when they change up their Bud Light things if they win one game. Like that's yeah, just that like, <laughs> right. Like yeah. You can't have you can't have that and not be. They a were stock. in. They were in on the laughing stock. <laughs> like I'm looking at. Like I'm just looking at like old teams that won title because I want to know like when does it stop? Like when does the title where are the Bears a laughing stock? Last title, eighty five Bears. Are they a laughing stock? <sighs> They're like the like to, to what Mitch was saying. They got the big market. You know what I'm saying? So, I think Bears fans would say yes. But would it, but I think the like, we're talking about like just generally. Do generally people think? I don't. I don't know that I do. But I don't. I'm curious to. I don't think of I the think Bears. A lot of, uh, I don't think any franchise in any sport has gotten more miles out of one championship than the '85 <laughs> Bears. Because I think most yeah. people see them as that. They've got strong uniforms. It's Great. Chicago. You know the fans show up. They've got all the players throughout history that you can reference. The drop Great defense. Back. Yeah. Great defense. They've never once, never once had a quarterback somehow. Like they haven't even <laughs> fallen backwards into a quarterback by accident like the Patriots. Like you just, <laughs> there's no chance you can exist as long as the Bears have and have had zero quarterbacks. It's almost but, impressive. You know what's even wilder about their one title? Everybody agrees like that was the great defense, but also most of the people I know that talk at that time, it's like, hey, listen, if they got the Dolphins again in the playoff, the Dolphins would have made like light work of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, am I making? I feel like most people I've heard are like, right. yeah, yeah, like the Dolphins. It's like, uh, like when the Rockets made the finals, everybody expected Lakers, uh, Celtics. It's like, oh come yeah. on. It's like now, listen. If they got here, they got knocked off. Which, to their credit, they lost to the uh, Patriots, right? Pa- they it was that was the AFC Championship game. Oh yeah, pa- yeah. Patriots beat Dolphins, and the yeah, Patriots was that up for everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> consensus was, oh yeah, Dolphins would have made would have had single Terry chasing his tail. <laughs> so well, didn't they like smash him in the regular season that year? Yeah, that was the yeah. So it was like you talk about just a bad matchup, um, and it was like yeah, Marino this. Basically, Mahomes gonna get here in his second year, do it, and get back a hundred times. Not so much. The Dolphins are laughing stock. Like they had the. You talk about somebody getting some run off a season, off one particular ring. Mercury Morris and his damn uh, fourteen win. Yeah, he shows up he every year. To up a lot. Listen, we tried. Who would you just, rather it be me every year dancing on people's graves when <laughs> finally someone lost? I, Morris is an all-time just like he's just known for one thing type of that's, guy. That's what I'm saying. Like you talk about the '85 Bears running off one thing. If if somebody damn Patriots, if somebody goes undefeated, Murky Morris is done. I think he'll die <laughs> immediately. Yeah, like oh, trust me, I was thinking about that in fucking 08 when we were playing in the Super Bowl. I was like, this is the end of Mercury Moore. You know he hated that season. Can I that go was back about my... 18 and a half weeks of hell. <laughs> Can I go back to when you asked me about names and throw Mercury on there instead of Jeff? No. No, no you're stuck with Jeff and Tom, whatever the fuck your other ones were. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. Uh... How many uh, How many did the Ra- Raiders won too, right? Yeah, see that was that was gonna be my next question because the Raiders at one time were like the franchise, but now they are kind of a joke, right? Like the last kind of a joke. Their their last ring was eighty four. They've got the uh, like Mark Davis is an all time character to be the face of a laughing stock organization. I mean, if you they brought in Mark. (laughs) They brought in Marcus Mariota, and they're all like excited now. Like maybe. Derek Carr will like try and try more or something. It's like, dude, you guys are still fucked with either one of them. <laughs> they've got yeah. way too like of all the other laughing stocks, they've got by far the best uniforms. So that helps them. Oh, comfortable. Yeah. Like, the like, the the like that. 
Right. They almost have the same fans as the Bills, where they're like they're still going to be the black hole and still be crazy, even though they stick. Yeah. I'm That's comfortable like wearing their merchandise and not calling them a laughing stock. Yeah, tell you're wearing a Raiders hat now. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I mean, I Jesus. Like man. So yeah, I don't know. Like Great they man. lost in a hilarious way. Like we are talking about how that's gonna like the Tuck rules an all time way to lose, all time way to lose. Like it doesn't yeah. even make sense how as it's a rule. Game. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like a rule no one knew except for that one official and Bill Bell. Like those are the only two people who knew that rule. Um, I can't call him a laughing stock though. I just can't. Fair. I like to laugh at Gruden, but it's a good laugh stock. That's what I mean. Right there. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. They took a running back in the first round. Yeah, that's. I mean, you know, I think they're laughing stuff. But yeah, like they're they had success around the times the like the Redskins. So if it's like yeah, they've, if one can't coast on it. They, the Giants were getting close until, again, the Patriots uh, intervened. The, Cow- the, Cow- the Cowboys are laughing stock. I think they had their stretch. Yeah. But are they currently? I don't think they, so. I don't think they are. I don't think so. The Giants will never be one because of the undefeated season. 100%. They can never be one. Well, I'll, I'll, as long as people, like, remember Eli, I'll say that. If they, I don't know if in, like – if they have another like thirty year run like the Redskins or whoever in between success, I don't know if they'll still be cooking off that. Yeah. But as long as he, like unless they just run him out of the organization, which they might, it's what bad franchises do. Um, <laughs> there was for sure a stretch with like McAdoo where you guys were a laughing stock. That was the worst coach. I, I he's the most, the most idiotic. I can't believe we hired that man. Uh, he was the he's the laughing stock face. Now Joe uh, Joe Judge not a laughing stock face. Adam Gase is a laughing stock. That's why I think the Jets are a laughing stock. I the think Jets Adam, are oh, definitely yeah. a laughing stock. I think Gase is probably the worst coach in the league. Fellas, Since I Bell- actually Bell- walked Bell- the line. <laughs> would you say yeah? Bell- I forgot. It. It's four fifteen. I didn't know it was four fifteen. Why would you say yes to three? Then this is why I asked yeah, you what time. I thought it was. I thought I don't know. <laughs> you thought we were doing pick state? Yeah. Yeah, you did say pick state. Do. Nice twelve said, minutes. To... I could come back right after. <laughs> How long are you doing it for? It's like twenty minutes. See what happens. We'll be here, and Dana, right. Dana, Dana's not leaving. We're keeping right, Dana right back. All right. So. Like the, I don't think the Chargers could ever be a laughing stock. I think they can only fall into that irrelevancy. I don't know why. Why never? I don't like. I don't think they're one now, but I don't think they're immune to it. I think they could fall into it. Because a, like they're 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 the second team in L.A. now. Like they're not even in San Diego where they could like lead the town and being bad. Like they're like the Padres. Nobody cares they're... though. That's what I mean. I don't think anyone will ever care. That's why I don't think you can be a laughing stock if no one's there, like cares enough That's to right. laugh at you. But I'll say if um, I mean I, I won't say I was gonna say if the Rams get really good. the Rams are good now and we're cl- like about one half away from literally everything being different. But I don't think you can go overboard on laughing stocks in the NFL. I think the they're Falcons are laughing laughing. Of, of laughing stocks. I I think that yeah that's one where. I feel like the families own it the long, like the Lions, the Bengals. These are the teams that are laughing stocks because the same families own this team for 40, 50 years. Yeah. I keep laughing whenever laughing? I hear laughing stock now. You say, well, you're laughing at laughing stock? Yeah. We've said it so many times that it's making me laugh. We have said it a thousand yeah. times. Billions. Uh, what did you say? Like the Eagles? Well, I, I think the Falcons are big time stock. I would say, yeah. Yeah. The Eagles were. Yeah, the Eagles won the word so they weren't. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Man, y'all <laughs> Tom Brady's actually trash. Most important franchise in league history, it would appear. I I was because I was another team I was gonna ask, I was like, are the Bucks a laughing stock? They had that one title in the early two thousands. Since then, like nobody who could have predicted that Tom Brady but You're just not relevant they, enough. Yeah, I don't I I agree. I think the but reason I, that people think the Cowboys could be a laughing stock is because they just so many people like to sh- like make fun of them. Yeah. Or yeah. in reality, they're not that bad. People just think they should be better. 
What's this one? Uh, when you're called America's team and you go, what, 20 years of that winning a playoff true. game, bad scene. That is true. Rough nickname. Like, I remember, like, in the Tony Romo era, I was like, hey, man, at least – at least, at least the Bengals aren't the Cowboys. People, a lot more right. people watching them lose than us. Like, right when they lost on uh, Romo botching that like extra point, that yeah. was for sure a laughing stock status. Absolutely. I don't know if you guys have ever talked about this, but would you ever go back to the Bengals if Joe Burrow is just the greatest player of all time? No, I respect that. No, because even then, if Joe Burrow turns into Patrick Mahomes too. We still see how you need everything else to go right, even for Patrick Mahomes to win a Super Bowl. So Burrow could be like that nasty. They would. I don't trust the coach. I don't trust the like people around him to make it right. So um, now, no, no, yeah, they no. have they have nobody right now. Looks like they have they have AJ Green. That's about it. Like AJ Green, who's good, but he didn't play like at all last year. Sure didn't. John Ross is cool. Uh, Tyler Boyd's cool. Uh, like Mixon, I think they got a couple they of up, linemen. They didn't even pick up John Ross's fifth year option. Listen, nobody got their fifth year. <laughs> That's true. A lot of people did. I think, was it like just a bad guy? Like six of the top 10 or something? Like something crazy. Yeah, something, bad. <laughs> something bad. Like, who could have known? Bears, uh, the number two pick didn't get his fifth year option picked up. No, sure didn't. Oh, yeah. Solomon Thomas didn't. Like, none of them. It's it's tough. I think first round picks are actually bad, man. True, this is why Belichick trades out. Well, what's so funny is that the only when you trade in, it's like, oh, of course you want that fifth year cheap. Nobody's picking up the fifth year because you picked the wrong fucking play. Like, what? <laughs> of course you want a cheap quarterback to build the right. Yeah, he has to be good, or none of this matters. Yeah, like, so <laughs> did you see they have uh, two is the highest and second highest selling jersey in the NFL? How is that possible? With Teal and White. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's, he's going one, right? Number That's one. That's what they have him as right now. I don't know. Is that what he's actually wearing? I think, yeah, because they – I don't know if he said it or they – I think he's – like I mean, he wasn't even going to ask Marino for 13, which is smart. But a 2 or one jersey in that teal, tough. I feel like he should wear two. <laughs> nah. That's in his RG, name. Nah, that's how RG3 messed up. <laughs> Somebody told – is it true that he's the first lefty quarterback since Michael Vick? I believe so. That's insane. I did, uh, somebody said that, and I – like, how is that possible? That can't be – like, the first ever? Or, like, the in the NFL? Or, like, the first drafted in the first round? It was, like, Marcus Tuisato and Mike Vick. Okay. okay, yeah. It's, yeah, it is, rare, it is rare, though, but – that blew my mind. Like, I just assumed there was a lot of left, like, not a lot, but at least more than Michael Vick. No, I do that. I think that's the thing that's about to change, too. Like, it used to be so you built it one way, your left tackle. Now it's like you got to have two good tackles. So it, it's crazy that that was never, that wasn't always the line of thinking. Like, you just need one of these. Good, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I, dude, I used to yell this from like the mountaintops because Bengals used to have a good left tackle. And I was like, dude, we're still getting blitz from both sides by the Ravens and Steelers twice a year, every year. And it's like, well, we've got Willie Anderson on the left side. What can you do? I'm like, there are two t- like what? There's nothing we can do. Like, are you can't. Yeah, you just pump the right side. The quarterback's looking that way. Dumb, dumb. Just tell him to move. <laughs> it's like 14 year old me. Like, I don't even know who's a, like. I only know who's a good offensive lineman based off Madden at that point. And it's right. like, ah, can we get any of these guys on the other side? Left tackle, no. just, just fine. Uh, Peter Bowler and Ray Lewis running uh, free, completely free on the right side. <laughs> James Harrison, Lawrence Timmons having a blast on the other side. Yeah, Will, Willie's just over there like, I'm doing my job. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Willie's like, yeah, he made, the line. like, he made Pro Bowls, and, yeah, they were just like, no. I mean, if only there was something we could do, man. James like, yeah, the quarterback can see that way. What do you – Yeah, do you I don't know. <laughs> It's like, yep, oh, another sack for uh, <laughs> another sack for Sarah Goulton, huh? <laughs> Man, we got a good left tackle. Like, <laughs> Achilles Smith's just dying back there. Yeah, I'm like, um, 
They're just like, uh, I know there had to be an article like, is Willie Anderson actually bad? He's like, are you shitting me? Like, uh, <laughs> for sure. I haven't allowed a uh, penalty in six years. Like, <laughs> but yeah, clearly a laughing stock. Yeah, they are. They are. I think there are only certain things that laughing stock, like again, the way the Falcons lost, that only happened to a laughing stock. Only. The way, like the Bengals, the. Like Palmer getting hurt that first, that was another time. If I was older then, that would have, I bet somebody got off the train right as I got on it at that point. There was a Bengals fan there that was like, this is just never going to happen. Right. Uh, but yeah, only having the laughing stocks, man. Maybe that's why the Warriors are still a laughing stock. Like they were bad for a really long time. Maybe you just can't, sh- like they had a good draft. They had like a good three year draft, pretty much. Like they, yeah. they just go back to, it remains to be seen. Because them being as good now is as wild as them thinking about them being a joke. Even now. as even as bad as they were, I don't know if they ever hit like laughing stock status. I feel like they were pretty laughing. I, I feel like I thought they were. They felt like laughing stock to me because they were. It was like they got Chris Weber and then had him for one year because they signed that deal. Like that's yeah. that's only. It's bad. That's certainly bad. You won't. It only happens to the laughing stocks, man. That don't happen to the. Uh, that don't happen to the Utah Jazz. And I don't think they're like they always. They lose in funny ways, but they're always competing. So I don't think they're. I don't think I call them laughing stock. I don't think enough honestly, care. Honestly, I think right now is a tough time to say the Jazz aren't a laughing oh, no. stock. <laughs> One guy in particular. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's it called when you're a laughing stock, uh, but only forever? Yeah, a, ba- a laughing baguette. <laughs> yeah, a la- <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he ever returns to a game. Could you be as okay? Say you were in the office, Dana B, and somebody, uh, say Mush, say Martin Mush, accidentally gives you the bug. You know, the nineteen, the Rona. That's what yep. I'm talking about. I know. But he does it in a way, yeah, like he rubs his hands on your face. He like rubs his shirt. Like he does it like in a dickhead way, like Go Bear. Could y'all ever be cool again? Uh, Marty is a bad example because I think I'd be <laughs> cool with Marty no matter what. Who okay. do you hate? But if yeah. somebody, if somebody, somebody, that was, yeah. somebody that I'm not like friends, friendly with, I would I would hate them for the rest of my life. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I don't. What quicks did it? Who? Yeah, what quicks? I just call him a fat ass and be like, get the fuck out of here. You do that when he does nothing to you. Right. <laughs> nobody. Nobody at all. If Quiggs did it, I would get over it eventually, yeah. but That's what I'm saying. So who's – it's got to be somebody – you can't say, like, yeah, would you not forgive an enemy? Duh. Like, would you not forgive yeah. somebody? Not, it's got to be somebody you friendly. Yeah, that's be, like, a this a, a good amount of people in the office. I'd be, like, it would take some time to get up to – Repair that relationship. If Pete gave you the bug, Pete just was like a random guy to just give I'd, people the bug. I'd slap him in the face. All business, Pete. Yeah. But y'all would be Dan, cool after that. Right? Pete get along. Uh, mm. Kinda. We bust <laughs> along. We bust along like, a lot. Yeah, that's getting along in Pete's world. Yeah. <laughs> we make fun of each other quite a lot. Just guys being dudes. I'm trying to think who could give it to you that would infuriate you. Yeah. Oh, I know there's there's several people that I have in mind. Well, give a name, Coward. Give us one. Like, for instance, if Young Page Views gave it to me. (laughs) Because I know him, and he loves to come into the office when he's sick, first of all. That's true. That (laughs) is very Put his foot up on your desk and cough on your chair. That's exactly what I'm envisioning. His, like, balls in my face with Corona all over it. (laughs) <laughs> like yo check out this footage as he has like his his big nut sack in front of me <laughs> hey, he's just going through it for and some reason that one is is what i'm envisioning so you, you don't think y'all could ever be cool again if he was I'm like afraid. dude how was i supposed to know that i had the fucking <laughs> corona dude well i i i don't really hold grudges so i yeah i think we get over it but I'd be mad at him for sure. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like that's what they say. Uh, Mitchell and Gobert getting over it. It's like I, be- I think they are, but they must have had to been friendly before. Yeah, or at least on decent terms. What if? 
What if Vibs gave you uh I don't know why. I was just about to say Vibs. Yeah, he feels like a fairly neutral part. What if Vibs gave you Rona? If he was doing it in an obnoxious way, uh, yeah, I think Vibs is cut out for my life. <laughs> Lowering the bar, he just has everybody take a shot of uh, the virus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know if I can get like fully mad at Vibs like that. I just That's don't know I'm well enough. That's what I was trying to pick somebody like neutral. Like I actually have a list of every employee in front of me. Every contact. You should do. Just pick a name, a random name. We don't. I'm th- I, there's so many. I be. Oh! <laughs> Is it about my haircut? <laughs> you got a haircut? Oh, look at the handsome. Oh, give, yeah, give us a look. Give us a twirl. Very it's, strong. Yeah, dude. Pretty much top dollar fade, you know what if I mean. Tom, if Tommy gave it to me, the other. If <laughs> Tommy gave it to me, I'm out. I'm out on smokes. What is the nature of it? What's the nature of this? I have a um. My red flags are going up that I'm being made fun of somehow. So uh, we asked Dana. Uh, I can't even remember the the full question, but it was like, who would you be? Oh, we were talking about Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell. So we were saying if someone in the office gave Dana uh, the Rona, big nineteen. Who would he be like furious at? Yeah, like, who would be cool again? So, some if you somebody gave you and your name came up, uh, Paige, you, your name came up. <laughs> kind of crazy from my from my guy. I don't know what I. No, I, I feel like I had an explanation, didn't I? It was yeah, solid. He, yeah, he said you would you'd be like at his desk, just like dick and balls, <laughs> like in his face. <laughs> he said you're big coming to the That's office. Fair. thick. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. But I also think me and Dave B, we've been through the trenches together. I would hope that if I gave him the Rona, he'd be like, hey, I'm sorry. You know, it's okay. I, I it, think that we could withstand that. If it came from the dick and balls, I would be very – I would be like, that could have been avoided. That strain in particular. Yeah. I'd argue yeah. it couldn't because that's how he stands and everyone knows that. He got, yeah, he got strain D and B. I also said we would, easily, office, like, we would easily get over it. Like, we would be yeah. friends no matter what. You said it would take months. Mush, you said you couldn't even get mad at. Well, that's because I can't take him seriously. Tommy smokes. Just give you the Rona. You said smokes, though. So you say you would like smokes is out of your life if he gave you the Rona? If he was rubbing it on my face like Rudy Gobert, yes. (laughs) I'm trying to think think of Rudy the most mad, dude. I'm trying to think. Obviously, the the dog comes to mind because he's so loud. You'd punch him in the head. Like if he, I mean, it's just coronavirus. Like, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, you know, that's a quit making such a big deal about it. Like, that's what the dog would say. You know. Yeah, you you you've had a few run-ins with him. That yeah, you'd be furious if he gave you the Rona. Big it depends right. on how it's, how it would be done. Would you how rather? You would all right, YP, and I, I I just thought of this. So I don't think this is why I brought you on here. Would you rather Nate give you the Rona? Like, would you take Nate giving you the Rona if it magically erased him bodying you uh, a few years ago? Oh, that's a good question, McMahon. That's a good question, yeah. dude. Would it, if, it, if it could cancel out your worst moment on camera, would you let that person give you the, the bug? Interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely gone away somewhat at this point. So it's like, if in the moment, oh, I would have taken double. Oh, my fault. Nineteen and twenty. Yeah, take my arm. I might have taken a triple dose of the Rona back then. You know, that was a, that was a tense time, Nick, man. And also, I just want to say, it's for all fun and games for you. You were there, Mick, man. You could have stopped. You could have stopped that. that. I, mean, I, I, I was a matador. Also, Dana B, if I might add, low-key, it was his fault for not getting the box in the frame. Both of you were, like, accomplices to the murder. Mine mine was an accident. Mine was accidental. I mean, Big Cat was the worst one by far. He, the, that face that he does where he goes, and then he dips out of the way. <laughs> me, me and him couldn't. You would have thought it was choreographed with how we, we saw that train coming down the tracks and slid out of the way. Dude, that box. I If I could, I just wish that, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I probably wouldn't take the Rona now, but anytime 2017, I would have taken it for sure. Or just giving Dana B. Also, when we came upstairs and Dana like told people there was the footage, I was like, Dude, what do you remember when we had that dog? Man? I was like, why did you say that? I'm a snake. 
<laughs> yeah, not the most loyal guy. He was, he was just being a gregarious officer. Oh. Like, oh, wait till you guys see the footage. I was like, Dana, shut the fuck up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we went it all time, it's all time footage. It is. It is. It is. I mean, you're right. But in the moment, I was like, bro, just next time, just let me handle it and we'll like make it look not as bad. And then I at that point, game. I was new to the game. Let me yeah, retweet it from Maine first. Huh? Yeah, that won a Duncan award, if I recall correctly. Yeah, and then I tried to go up and accept it and got like. And I booed you. That was bad. That's the best booing I've ever been a part of. That sucked, man. Because I, dude, Nate was like, we were talking about how funny it was going to be. We were going to like accept it together and be like, thanks for murdering me, all the stuff. He kind of baited me into that. And then I got double murdered again. It's just a shame, dude. A lot of shameful actions. I don't know, McMahon. Are we That's talking about you getting laid by Nate? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, would I take the Rona to erase it from history, but I have to catch it from the dog. Mush, who yeah. in the office could give you the Rona and you would just never forgive him? Who in the office would? Um, my first thing is just the Mantis. <laughs> just, uh, like, that crooked back bastard. Like, he's going to get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done it yet. <laughs> See, this is an impossible question. Like, said it's a lock, though. The reason, like, I said, the reason I said YP is because when I think of sick people in the office, you didn't think he was going to come on. That's why you said him. Oh, oh you, they just said YP and you invited yeah, him. Yeah, I, I texted him immediately. At, like, Roy like, Rumble style. Yeah. I heard a fishing oh, line ring oh, and then a lucky yeah. space showed up. <laughs> The way that he said it though was like if I put my dick in his face and then he caught it from my dick, which like, yeah, like you, know how he, you know how he stands. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Mantis was definitely the mean answer. That was he just like, like I mean, he looks like a walking Rona, but like anyone else. Oh my god, I, what did he do to you? Oh, what is I got, it? I got a good one, and this isn't this isn't like um. And I don't know, that now it's feeling mean the more I'm saying it. But Captain Cons, if he came in and like gave it to you in like one of those oh. like Burberry like uh scarfs and then you caught the Rona from him. <laughs> he if you threw like an answer yeah. American, like a blanket he threw on you. Yeah, like he's in like he's dappered down from like with a vest and like a three piece <laughs> combo. You're like, dude, you gotta give me the Rona like that, dude. Come on. Holy, look what Dana's looking at. What I told you at the beginning of the show that all he just does is write down people's I'm names. Looking at all pe- I'm looking at a list of people, you dink. I know that's all I can think of people to say. That's right? all you Hit do me. during quarantine is to write people's names down. I'm right. Give me a name, Dana B. Right now. Same thing you've ever said, Marty. Show us the list. Give it's me a name. List. It's the beer pong list. There's nothing to do with I, and I happen to have it, so I'm like, hey, who can I pick on from this corona question? And you know what my answer is? Fucking Ken Jack. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeff D. Lowe would be my number one person to catch um, the rope. You prefer yeah. to catch it from him. Oh, I would love that. If it, him and if you've seen his new dog, Mimosa, he she sleeps right next to my Star Wars figurine. So imagine <laughs> Jeff Deej just giving you a nice clean case of the Rona. And then he just throws you a button hook. <laughs> That's how you get it. You get it. You're running routes for low. He hits you with a crisp button hook. Bang. Rona all over No, the you run a post, and then he's like, nope, Rona. Yeah. <laughs> Going along with the 19. Yeah. No, it would really – it would suck from, like, like if you got it from Willie because, like, you can't do anything about it. Like, you can't be mad about it. It's just like, all right, well, now I'm fucked. I got the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> or like you catch it from Big Cat and no one cares that you caught it. They just care that he has it. Like you're just like the, the Russian name in the trade. Yeah, that's like Fair Big Cat later. Later. Yeah. Yep. Do you guys yeah, think anybody in the office has it? I mean, Jetski had to have it. By the numbers, somebody has to have had it. Just that's just. I think I had it in December. I think I had it before. It was cool to have it. Yeah, most of cool you had it. So. They said that, like, in New York, it was going around before they knew because China was, like, underreporting or something. Dude, I was sick in January, in bed for, like, like six days. Couldn't move with, like, coughing for, like, a month or something. Yep. I mean, that 100% had to be the Rona. If it really was going around then, you know? I, it had to. Like, it didn't just start in, like, February. They were saying, like, November, December. Yeah. yeah there, was, there wasn't a day where, like, it came to the city. Birthday? Yeah. Oh. Like, <laughs> things went everywhere. Like, yeah. It, it was, surprise. Surprise. 
Oh, YP, how how upset have you been that you haven't been able to do impressions of people to their face since we've been apart? This has kind of been a cathartic experience in the last 10 minutes talking to you. I haven't done the dog in quite some time. I haven't done like um uh, yeah, that's it's kind of fucked up, dude. It's I'm just with people who don't really know the people that I'm doing the impressions <laughs> of. It'd be kind of weird if I was doing that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they'd be like, how are you doing that? Yeah, no, that, that's how Brandon Walker talks. They're like, who's Brandon Walker? Mom, <laughs> you don't listen. Like, yeah, like, I'm just him with like two different fish, like pretending to be people, like action figures. Yeah, I'm like sitting in the car by myself, just being like, hey, man, you want to come watch Bent with me? Like, whatever. And then, like, Brandon Walker, I'm afraid of fucking walk. Most of you so stupid. Like, and then, like, and then everyone's like, what are you doing out in the car? It's like, I don't know, man. I just miss my friends, you know? <laughs> hey, you know, hey, you know, I, have real, yeah. I got real beef right now and it didn't start out as real beef but trent ryan dude i'm i'm like circling oh, on act. oh oh like you know what this what, fucking oh did this stem from the uh instagram comments of the bar still outdoors page <laughs> yo i actually i actually was like crying laughing thinking about that the other day I forgot what it was. I was looking at something and I was like remembering that. I think because I genuinely asked my girlfriend or something, I was like, Do you see like the comments in the outdoor? Like I said something like that and then I yeah, thought about a lot. It. <laughs> that was a tough beating, dude. No, but Trent Ryan, I gotta find my old phone. I literally just got the new iPhone like a day ago because after like two weeks, I've texted this guy. And when I when oh, I tell you I texted, started. No, 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 Coley. No, no, no. Text. Instagrams, Twitter, this, that. He's such a fraud. Like, be a friend for one time. I get when he does, like, oh, I don't text back. I'm Trent. I'm from Iowa. I like The Bachelor and don't text people. There's a point where it's gone past. It goes past funniness. It also goes past, like, when you're in the office and you see him every day, all right, laughs. Trent doesn't respond. We talk about it in real life. This has been months. He doesn't respond. And then, like, 6 9 he like he's like, Six nines on live. He's like, yo, you watching this? I literally was like, fuck you, dude. I hate your guts. Like, don't ever I, You want to know what I, I'll I'll try to find the text. I sent it to him. I was like, bro, I actually hate you, and I'm going to kill you. I was like, say, I said, this is not a joke. I'm serious. He's such a fraud, dude. Oh. It's, it's hurtful, but you're not wrong. He actually, I had one of the rarest things you can have. He had, me and him had like three consecutive texts back and forth the other day. Oh, my God. Dude, must be, I must be the, that makes me got Who got his phone? That's why I said I low key hate you for this shit, man. It's just so insanely disrespectful. <laughs> I said I wish Fifty Cent had slapped you in the face that day by his car. Not enough to cause any real injury, but enough to make you not want to be a douche and ignore people for months at a time during a national crisis. He just sent me back the six nine. A uh, new music video like three days later. I was like, fuck you, dude. I'm done with this. Shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck you, bro. Look at me in the face. Oh, fuck you. I think you're a crazy. Oh, man. No, no, no. no. Cry away. Friendship. Are you, oh, talking about, are you talking about those much. super angry texts that you sent me and then, like, I just ignored? <laughs> Get his ass, Trent. Who cares, dude? Dude, it's fucking me, man. Won't respond to my text for 690. Even though we've been talking about it forever. Come on. Oh, Trent, Trent, Trent. One, I said, hey, Tyler. I I text him on Lil Wayne on on 504. I said, hey, want to Facetime and listen to live from the 504 together? Mm-hmm. Chris. Nothing. He didn't even say no. Wait, wait, wait. That's a no. That's a no. Why did you? Why? Did, why did you point <laughs> out? Because we've done it every year before he turned All right. All right. Just right. making sure. We <laughs> every oh, this, year. This is tradition. Didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it was tradition. Yeah. Okay. No, I tweeted. I tweeted that link at you that's earlier funny, that day, and I was like. I just sometimes I, I just didn't want to. And like that's all it is. Like okay. I don't know. Say no, you coward. Text me back. No. no. That's so no. much more disrespectful than saying no. So just, just long no, you can't say the, you the thumbs down reply on the thumbs no. on the uh, Trent, I'm on uh, your side. I would ignore too. I would never say no. Because it's nicer to not if you said no, I'd be more mad at you. 
Also, this is just par for the course. I'm terrible at responding terrible. to texts. Like, Bro, like it'd be terrible. one thing if I had, if I had stopped responding after being a very prompt responder. But like, I'm just I get that it's disrespectful. I get that I'm like kind of an asshole. But sometimes I just don't respond. Like that's just it's who I am. About, like this is where you're you're so full of yourself. Oh, I don't text that. Bro, it's an actual crisis, man. We got real problems going on out here. Take care of your friends, dude. This is bigger than you right now, Trent. This is selfish. Oh, I'm Trent Ryan, the guy from The Bachelor. At <laughs> I don't text back. Dude, it's not funny listen, anymore. Listen, I'm trying to I'm trying oh, to oh, It's incredible that how quickly you got in here. Like I texted you and you were in oh, here within. Oh, we listen, literally just Trent. Trent's like, oh, Link. <laughs> the Mick yeah, man wants uh, me to do something. He throws me a Streamyard link. I'll jump in. I, we, it's like, we mentioned the oh, name Trent and you were here in, in 15 seconds. Well, I was by unbelievable. Listen, I'm trying. Even amidst a global pandemic, I'm trying to. Think, I'm trying to keep things normal. I didn't respond to text before global pandemic. I sure shit ain't doing it now. I'm wearing my same outfit that I always wear. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, oh, this global pandemic's not changing me. Oh, I, ca I catch sharks and I swim in the water. And, oh, I don't put out videos. Yeah, swim in the water. Like, yeah, like, fuck friends, you. We all got the shit. <laughs> The global pandemic, dude. The last wanna, thing we need. Is people I want to right kiss now, you man. on the mouth. I want to kiss you on the mouth right now. I miss you so much. Try it. Try it and see what happens. I'll shove that. Ball in. Hot. I've <laughs> never <laughs> heard the chirp. Right. I swim in the water. <laughs> <laughs> God is it? <laughs> Amphibian face, man. Iowa, fucking idiot. You're, dude, you're making me mad now. You're now. I'm <laughs> I'm imagining like Trent when he stood up, he's just completely bottomless, like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> My dick's just flopping around. It doesn't really yeah. flop, but everywhere. Uh, yeah. Your dick doesn't flop, dude. No, I, already, I made that joke. You don't get to make that. Joke. Yeah, no, but I know. I, I can tell. Get, hey, keep the pressure off you. I, I love how, like how kind everyone was when there was four people. I had six. Mayhem, <laughs> absolute chaos. Mayhem. Yelling, old friends just tearing limb from limb. I uh, old yeah. friends. Even old amidst friends. the global pandemic, I had to hug you right now, YP. You know I would. I would. I. You think that this is fun games? I'm. I, am, I do. I kid No, I saw. I saw those I very serious texts that you sent me, and I was just like, boy, I do not want to have to deal with this eventually. But here we are. <laughs> I'd push this off forever if I could. Literally. I would. I would. Literally. I'm actually. I'm actually hoping this all continues, so I wouldn't have to deal with it. But I got sent you know a stream and I so sad too, Trent. You know what makes me actually sad? Six what? nines home, dude. There's blood in the streets, and there's like real. I mean, we would have been best friends at this moment, and you just ruined it. I don't get it. It's you're you're wasting moments at this point. We're I never gonna get. Home side from an old I started. I started this adventure on your side. Trent pushing the whole, like, trying to keep things normal during the pandemic. I respect that. Yeah. Boy, that we feels to, like a win. We have to maintain a sense of normalcy. Listen, I didn't come into this chat expecting a dub, and I'm not leaving with a dub, and that's fine with me, bro. But I got to stay my mind. That's all I know. And Trent, look me in the face. Fuck you, dude. I wish you'd text me back. <laughs> you can't even text me back anymore because – I'd have to text you first for that, and I'm not texting you. I anymore. texted you about the six nine stuff. You didn't respond. That's pretty disrespectful. Yeah, yeah because I'm done. I texted you when I said I low key hate you and wish Fifty Cent had slapped you that day. I meant it, and that was my last. <laughs> oh yeah, let me read them. Let me. Re have you? Has he read them out yet, or no? Yeah, no. I did. Trent. I did. I, I, did. Read about Trent. I want to hear Trent read them. One of my texts was "Wanna ever talk again?" Unresponded <laughs> to. That's one. I, I like it. That's a no. <laughs> What a douche, Dana! Look at me in the face. What a douche! That's some. Hey, it's, that's I just the Trent White Ryan way of doing things. I don't, right? I don't like know it's not. Say. It's not breaking news that I don't respond to text. It wasn't messages. like me, Trent, want to come outside your apartment or something crazy. I was like, hey, dude, want to ever talk again? Unresponded. At that point, it's yeah, like red. I'm red. Also, like another personality of trait of mine that I don't love is that I'm stubborn. So, like, as soon as you start being like, hey, want to talk again? Hey, low key, hate you for this shit. Just so insanely disrespectful. Okay, so, I'm digging my heels in. Like, yeah, don't, three, like, four, don't. This is just how the way it is, unfortunately, for me. There was nine unread texts before want to ever talk again that I, I have the messages up right now. Nine before that. And that was before I said, uh, I hate you for not responding. So that's. If only there was something that could be done, Trent. Because uh, I'd be feeling the same way. It's like, I got some bad habits, man. If only there was something that could be done. Right. It's, you know, there's just <laughs> nothing I can do. I, I don't see a solution. 
Like from, there's from no April, way out. Yeah. From I April fifth to April tenth, me and Trent were on what can only be described as the hottest streak of texts and replies I've ever seen. <laughs> I texted them a video from our uh, meeting a year ago where I just pan and then just zoom in on him, giving a nice big smile. Uh, And he said, remember when we could be around people? I said, that gathering would get us arrested right now. He responded again, no less. Then three Uh, days later, I texted him Elon Musk's tweet that said the coronavirus panic is dumb. And he said, when the dust finally settles and we've got a six-figure body count, I might have something to say about that tweet. (laughs) Uh, Two days later. Yeah, it's not a great look on that one, but I want to tell you something. We did have, me we and Trent a... have unbelievable conversations. <laughs> I have Cole never one been on <laughs> We talked about air fryers. We talked about a golf tip going on. YP, this is a YP, this is a slap in the face. It's an affront to you as a man, yeah? It's Trent even texted yeah, me. Wow, the climb is a banger. <laughs> it is a banger. I hadn't really I had never really heard it or listened to it until Marty Mush, one of his four songs that he listens to, he's like, check it out, man. I was like, done. By Miles Tyre. Yeah. That is a good song, Mush. Good pick on that one, dude. <laughs> At least we can all come together on that. We, yeah, I, all... I will now not listen to it because Trent enjoys it because he's an absolute coward. He doesn't we all... Coley, we had a good back and forth recently. One of my favorites of recent memory about uh Mr. Cameron double dutching in his living room. That was one just of the crushing, funniest things uh, I've ever seen. Just crushing it. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a long back and forth that you started, no less. Whenever I get a oh. text and it's Trent Ryan starts it, I'm like, did the president die? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> like, you know what this feels no, like? Right, it feels like Maury right now. Like, why are yeah. just sitting there reading out like another, it was like uh, another baby's father? Oh, <laughs> and why, and why, why are people just like, I just, unreal. This is just unreal. Well, it's, no, it's more. I more feel like it's like on Maury and like the wife was like, oh, I'm like by myself. And then her like 10 boyfriends come out and she's like, oh, like I was with this guy this day, this guy. And you're like, what's going on? Like, you got no time for me. That's what it's like with Trent. But the good news is I've actually released myself. Like, I feel free right now because I'm I got a new phone. I've never texted Trent on it and I will not text him on it. And that's a fact, dude. Not because you won't respond. But I just, I feel strong right now. I've taken the power back. YP, you know I love you. You know, it's, you know, I love you. You don't know that I love you because I don't. So I hope that you don't. (laughs) You have no clue. Trent, my favorite back and forth uh, was actually about Dana recently. On April 23rd, uh, Dana tweeted out, Makai Becton's dad is me to my pals when I'm blacked out. To which I responded, yeah, if you lost 15, maybe. Hashtag boom roasted. <laughs> to which Trent, yeah, to I, I just had to take off my glasses and wipe the tears away from my face after you had tweaked to Dana. <laughs> I also, at the end of that, I said, I probably weigh more than Dana right now, which is probably true. But like, it's still watching people fat shame other people is still funny. Oh, it's my favorite pastime. funny. Yeah. On this program. <laughs> that Qu- oh, where's Quig's that fat fuck? <laughs> There's no yeah. need for that, my man. What was the original point of this stream? Uh, we're doing mixtape. Oh, this is the podcast. Friendship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the cereal? Yeah, I thought maybe you guys were, were streaming uh, like an old finals game or something. I don't know. No, <laughs> it's tomorrow's episode. Uh, well, you're on Well, it. what happened was we were talking about Rudy Gobert giving the Utah Jazz the uh, corona, and then Tyler asked me who in the office would it make me very mad if they gave me the corona. And I said young page views because his dick and balls would just be in my face, and that's probably how he would give it to me. So, But I know me and him would get over it, but that I would be angry of, because of that. And then he brought on YP instantly, and then YP started yeah, talking I don't know how about you, and then he brought you in quickest. instantly. Quickest. Yeah. Yeah, the YP said he had real life beef with you. And before I even heard what the beef was, I started sending you the link. I was like, well, this is going to be better with both of you here for certain. And I was like, he'll never respond. So I, if he does respond, I better go as soon as possible. And there you are. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we hashed out. I feel like we're in a better place now, right? I don't think it's been hashed out. I actually don't think it's hashed out at all. I think it's as hashed out as it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Trent. We didn't hash anything out, bro. You you can hash by yourself from now on because this guy, the all time so ball leader. <laughs> it's sad. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones, and you're just not willing to. It's yeah, really Trent, you yeah. shot a man in the head, and you're like, I don't know why you're so upset. <laughs> yeah, put it there, pal. Exactly. Yeah. 
That's like Rudy Gobert being like, "Hey, man, I'm I'm ready to be cool whenever these guys are." It's like, yeah, you're out of it, man. Yeah, yeah. Quit, quit whining, man. I don't know. I think that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all me and you texted him Roy Halliday the other day. Yeah, he's got that new documentary coming out. Mm-hmm. That's, that he does have it coming out. But... That thing should be good. Trent, what do you think about the guy who bowled a three hundred on nine eleven? <laughs> I got I got something I got to do. I got I got to go somewhere. I got I have I have every other place to be. <laughs> how has, how has you. It been, you, haven't, you haven't had Robbie home for this whole time, right? Yeah, it's been about a, a little over a month. I've been just hanging by myself. So you're going like crazy? No, it's it's actually pure bliss. Like I I like like Robbie and I are great roommates, but I think I'm I'm better off like by myself. Like I like living alone. A month by himself, no distractions, and still can't answer a text. Rough. And Dana, it's not like he's literally <laughs> on his computer and phone. I would guess. Right, yeah, you, maybe, maybe he doesn't phone. have an internet at home. Maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, who knows? Yeah. I bet you Trent is within an arm's length of a device 95% of his waking hours. Maybe. Oh, way <laughs> oh it's way, it's 100. I, like, even, when, even when I'm asleep, I'm my phone's like right next to my head. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know, how to, bro. I don't know how to put it. Yeah, pelican. I swallow so my lungs vibrate with every text during my slumber. <laughs> What'd you say, YP? I don't know how to put hits out on people, and I don't know like how to do it without getting caught. But I please believe, like, I on anything. If I could do it and not get caught, I'd do it just out of frustration towards. A you. good I'm start serious. of not getting caught is definitely talking about it on a recorded podcast that's going to go out to a bunch of people. Might be it, might not. Might be it, uh-huh. might. We'll see for you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, in a, if this was like Grand Theft Auto and I could do it and not get in trouble, you'd be gone there because you just disrespect me as a human, and I don't like it. It's sad. It is very funny. Like trying with all the time in the world, just. <laughs> It's literally like you, you just took your dick out and you're trying to slap me in the face. Like that's, that's, what you're you, that's you coming up with that visualization. That's like not me. That's you thinking about that in your 11 head. 11 straight unread text on different days. It's not like I'm doing one day just stringing yeah. them along. Yeah, Monday. true. Like, yeah, I, I was out with the wife that day. Like, no. I, Bro, it's yeah, I'm yeah. on your phone right now. I question your judgment after the third text you didn't answer. Why just yeah. keep going? <laughs> me? Yeah, why should you? Yeah, well, yeah. What, at what point? Uh, yeah. Yeah, have some respect, my. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> have some respect for yourself. He's trying to go first you, man. One, like, first one was, uh, well, I was asking if he thought Drake had ever gone fishing. Something that, that I would love to know your guys' thoughts on. I also talked to two dudes that are like Drake's friends, and they both were like, "We don't know." Like the rock is like <laughs> trainer and someone else. They like live in the house with him, and they were like, "Yeah, dude, that's hilarious. We don't know." And I was like, "Not a chance." Know? How crazy is that? Nobody knows this answer. I feel like I'm, we know, like, no chance. I'm positive. No chance. <laughs> I agree. I'm just, I would love to hear it from the man himself. It'd be nice if Champagne Bobby, who just had a number two album, maybe he needs to spend a little more time interacting with the fans. He could have sold those extra 11,000 units. I was going to say, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's fucked up. Hey, Trent, do you know any um, tainted names in the world right now? What do you mean? What the like hell? Waldo. Like Waldo. Like Adolf. Adolf. No, more Waldo. Waldo? You think yeah, Waldo is more tame than Adolf? I mean, if you think about it, like <laughs> if I said, if I called someone Waldo, you'd be thinking about the striped bastard just hanging out, trying to hide. Yeah, that's way worse. Adolf, I mean, it could be a dog. You don't know. It doesn't have to be Hitler. Adolf the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Any t- I can't think. No tainted names come to uh, come to mind right now. No. Romeo. You mean, I think you got the tainted. two. What is? Romeo. Judas. Judas. Judas, that's Judas is tainted. Strong name do? too, because that's a shame. What did he do? Brutus Judas. also. What did Judas do? Only he's like the most. I mean, famous back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What about Brutus? Another great <laughs> name. Think- yeah. So Who's dang. that? He fucking stabbed Caesar, dude. Just like See, that. that fictional shit? Oh, my no. God, Marty. No, Julius Caesar was very real, yeah. 
Do you think Jesus was fictional too? You don't think Ju Judas is real? What do they have to do together? Judas backstabbed him, dude. Holy. <laughs> Not physically. Oh. <laughs> what about the – who's the traitor? Who's the traitor? Judas. <laughs> No, yeah. Benedict, Arnold. Famous, Benedict. Benedict Arnold. Benedict is done. Oh, yeah, Benedict, big curse. That's name. why YP's name is Ben. Oh, no, like they shortened it. No, it was a compliment. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. That's just at this point, more than <laughs> what I've had them during this past call. You're gonna do that. <laughs> no, I said they shortened it to Ben, so you're not a traitor. So he's not a dick. I get it. Yeah, I, was just, I just came out wrong. To pick on someone who who's one of their best friends didn't betray them like royally in the last few weeks. <laughs> pick on someone whose deskmate didn't turn into an absolute like little sniveling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Find someone of, of that type of thing. Don't don't come at me with that. Right? Don't pick a guy when he's when he's down. <laughs> Sucks, dude. It's like these day and age, we got a global pandemic. Much, and I got friends dropping like flies. This guy just turned into it's crazy. Six nine came home and Trent left. He went and that's you know the world. Give and take. It's an ebb and flow. Hey, balance. A big time. Uh, Tyler dropped a big time uh, barstool outdoors Instagram comments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's. Three people in the world who get that, so like it's it's me laughing uproariously is not going to make sense to a lot of people. But boy, is that listen, just... I made a joke before you were even here, so even less people got it. Yeah, much less. <laughs> I feel hey, like I've heard that you guys story, have been I, perusing I the the deeper parts of the Barcelona Gym comment section, but there's a real Bro, doozy in there. I've been fake laughing for ten minutes, and I was on the Barcelona Outdoors Instagram twenty minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't know. That's not how you would understand. Oh, of course, it was a very insular. It's probably like a a thirty second three person thing that you could know. And it's like I will say, speaking of the bar, uh, the bar slot doors comment section, the people call me chatter and and stuff like that. It's kind of funny. I've been the bar slot doors comment section has been popping lately. You guys are missing out. Dude. I'm telling you, yeah. it's Club a bar slot doors comment section. That's some good what? shit. My favorite. So <laughs> One day, one day when Tyler was in New York, the old office, me, Trent, and Tyler were standing by the water cooler, just having having some nice chat. And YP struts up, and he was like, "Hey, did you happen to see that comment on the barstool outdoors <laughs> Instagram?" And we just looked at each other, like, "Well, that's the most absurd question we've ever been posed." And we. <laughs> Even meaner than Trent not responding to eleven consecutive texts, <laughs> we just laugh at me. <laughs> it was like, meaner, it, Mush. It was meaner than what you've witnessed. There, it's actually really. But, it was so funny. Mush, Mush, did you see the newspaper yesterday in China? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, that was like it was big mean. <laughs> equivalent oh. of you see yeah. that star in the night sky? Like which one? <laughs> no, much. It wasn't even really like that. It wasn't even the moment. It was like probably like forty-five minutes after. They wouldn't even speak to me. They're just laughing. That's like they. Yeah, it, it was very funny. Like I'd go to the bathroom and they'd be like just dying, like crying on the floor, like oh god. I was like, all right, that's. This I was just like three like, years ago. We're still laughing about. Oh my god! Yeah, still got a real out of you. I think uh, I, went home. I was like, I'll see you guys later. I can't do this anymore. It was bad. Yeah, to this day, in all the years I've known both, this is the hardest I've ever seen Coley or Trent laugh. And by, like, not even close. <laughs> so, just like interrupt our conversation. Like, yeah. hey, I got a question just, for you guys, just in case you guys were like in the Barcelona Outdoors comment section, which I know you have been. So, like, uh, yeah, I, I want to. I want to dead all the rumors going on in the, bar, in the Barcelona Outdoors. <laughs> no, but much basically. There was one video and someone was like roasting me and it was like I don't I I don't know. It was more like a segue, like, hey, I want to show you guys something. Brad, I just said it the wrong way, but whatever. <laughs> we were on the act like on the actual flag. I couldn't breathe. I, honestly, yeah. the second honest I probably laughed was earlier today when Mush said seven people died in World War Two. Well, that <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the context you're supposed to be. Hey, one more person than is here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the Cold War only had 32, like you said. Hey, this is true. Boy. This yeah, has been I fun. Mean, 
Who are you guys? Yeah, a war wax, right? yeah, you guys war buffs? No, I know a lot about World War II, if anything. Probably How many not. people died in it, Dana? I don't know numbers. I'm not good at numbers, but I know facts. That's no, a fact. That's a fact. Moron. I'm always yeah. amazed by people like Smitty, who like they know all the presidents, they know everything about every world war, they know every general. Like I just that doesn't stick in my brain like other stuff. Like I I don't know anything about any war. I really don't. I, I, say, right now, fun. I could only name about eight presidents. I don't even know if you could do that. Yeah, let's hear him. I would love to hear you. Let's, who you got? I knew I shouldn't have even said it. I was just like, <laughs> I'm nervous that you brought it up that it's going to come my direction because I can't name it either. <laughs> I was going to say, let's, say come on, let's go, Mush. I'm I counting. really you don't. just don't walk the line. Um, the guy who got stuff stuck in the, in the tub, George Washington. I can't hear that one. Washington. Yeah, no. One. Because I always say Harriet Tubman because it's with the tub, but I know that's the Underground Railroad. President Harriet Tubman got stuck in the tub. <laughs> yeah, her uh, real first name, her last name was Johnson, but she had to go yeah. get stuck in that tub. <laughs> uh, all right, George Washington, so one. Abraham Lincoln, okay, Two. Obama, three, Trump, four, um, Bill Clinton, five, heating up, George Bush, six, his dad, seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You got it, Mush. You got this. Man. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. I need a first. I need a full name here. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's a stuffed bear. John oh, come F. on. <laughs> Roosevelt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> JFK. JR. Oh, Teddy. Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy. All right. So you got nine. Okay. And then yeah. some Jackson. <laughs> Michael. <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, how many people do you think died in World War II? Then you, we can let you out of here. Oh, oh man! See, I'm going to be so wrong. Okay, that Tyler, I, Tyler said twenty thousand. Bush again said seven. <laughs> the first number that came <laughs> in my I said like fifty thousand. Thank you. The first number that came in my head was two hundred fifty thousand. Okay, way off. Well, uh, are you counting like Holocaust? Big time. Like all in World War II? Then I'm going to say. Oh. I'm going to say fifteen. <laughs> I thought it was just a war, dude. That was part like of the action. Of the war. This is why I didn't want to guess because my guess was so low and disrespectful. Like that I'm was just, million. At least you didn't say, say seven. Low. True. Here, here's what I'm finding out: everyone's is very low and disrespectful. Eighty-five million. Oh my! But see, I would have rather said seven because then people are like, "Well, this guy doesn't know what the fuck's going on." I'm like, yeah, just like, <laughs> like, I would rather say seven than two hundred fifty thousand. Like, seven <laughs> is someone who has not been on Earth. Yeah, this man's <laughs> basic mental competence is in question. So, like, <laughs> Whew. eighty-five million boy. Yeah, that's a lot of people, man. So many people. Dude, I did not realize that. That's insane. Me either. I feel like that does, that gets underteached. It says twenty million uh, military people, forty million civilians. That's crazy. Dude. Jesus oh, Christ! That's, that's still another. We're still missing another twenty million. Not to be glib. But, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's off um, estimation. Yeah, boy, bro, we haven't been to the moon since like nineteen seventy. That's just not true. Natural segue. Humans haven't. If we've been yeah, in there at all, much. I, I think we just don't care about it anymore. We go all the time. Bro, that's not what humans do. That's not true. No, that's not, for sure not true. Well, why are we taking pictures up there? Who's taking pictures up there? Uh, put, like, like rovers and stuff. Y'all got answers? Yeah. Actually, no. Yeah. I like. I don't know why I took such a hard stance. I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're big anti-space. That's why, Trent. Humans Spaces have scary. not been on the, on the moon since like 1972. If you were given the option to go to space, would you go? For sure not. One million percent, yes. I was gonna say, do I? Is it like, do I get something to go, like money, or it's just I only have the option to go to space? It's so really, it's just the opportunity problem. to go to space. No. Holy just got on a plane for the first time like last year. True. Well, that's also not true, but yeah. <laughs> you sent him to space. Yeah, that's a big leap. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they. I I watched this interview about they were interviewing some astronaut like if. You were pretty much quarantined all the time when you were in space. Uh, were you bored? Uh, he goes, no. It was in fucking space. It's right. un I've never seen it, so it's awesome. So I'd love to go to space. 
How long? You, like, what's the? I, I feel like space would kind of be like Vegas. You don't be there too long, though. Oh, yeah, I don't, don't want to do a week in space. Like, yeah, three days. Max. Yeah, uh, two days, three nights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think once you get up there, however long it takes to get up there, turn around, look at Earth, and be like, "Wow, that's great. That's how long I want to yeah, be there." Float around a little bit in the spacecraft. Do that a little bit, and uh, yeah, you gotta do one <laughs> flip in in space. Everything. <laughs> Take toothpaste and just smash it and see it go off. But everything from that point on is more time where something can go wrong. And I just don't – I don't want that. Just fire Good off. way to go, though. Good way to back. go. So, so, so well, yeah, what's the vote? Is Mush the only one who would go to space? I would not. Down, down. You guys are idiots. YP, Why I don't not? know if we're, I don't know if we're on talking terms, but you go to like the space of the downward way. Like, yeah, you, I can't believe YP's I, like, no, he's getting bit by I'd go to space before I go to the hang out in space. I'm with I'm with, sharks, I'm with Tyler. Space, I would go. If there were space sharks, I would go in two seconds. That's a fact. There might be. No we don't. There might be. That's the point. Yeah, I would go to space yeah. before deep sea, hundred percent. If you could convince me there was going to be a shark up there, I would I would definitely go check it out. All if right. not, like, dude, Earth is sick, man. There's so many things here. What about this, though? Because I was talking about this with Dana and Coley. Um, if a road went up, it's only like three hours to space. Would you drive there? That's completely different. Yes, of course I would drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Almost. Well, you got to think about traffic. A lot of people want to go to space. There wouldn't be a ton of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> If space was no. open, bro, there's only one road. There's gonna be mad traffic. <laughs> what, 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 what that's what I'm is, is three hours. Is that including the traffic, or it's three hours and then there's traffic? I think that's a straight no, shot. It's three hours straight shot. That's like when you go like four in the morning when no one's uh, and then out. I go at four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, like the oh. scare. One of the scarier parts of going to space is you sit in a rocket and they have to blast you up there. Like that's <laughs> terrifying. Like We're if terrifying I just go to the boat. If I just didn't do like a Toyota Camry, it'd be like, all right, let's just go. Like, yeah, but think about that. the Toyota Camry, you're like this because it's going straight up. Also, if they put me in a spacesuit, I'm just panic attack city the whole time. I think Dana would that throw bubble. in his helmet. Yeah, you'd look sick in a spacesuit, dude, with that mullet. You'd look like, imagine those pictures. I know, but the claustrophobia would just put me over the edge. I, I wouldn't know what to do if I was stuck. You'd feel like a, a dog with a cone on its head. You, yeah, you'd immediately pull the helmet Dude, off in your Dana, head. Yeah, Dana's like NASA. Dana crushing beers on like uh, one of those space helmet things and just like. <laughs> yeah, Dana, you said you were losing followers. That's the way to get followers back. Go to space. Stop Go to space. You start doing zillion beers in space like beer. I mean, at least you could swim through it and drink it. It'd be crazy. Hey, it's a good question. Do I really want the followers or not? I'll go to space. I'm back on space. Okay. Yes. I'm still Two up, out. Four down. That's hard. Driving in, flying out. Oh yeah, travel. But yeah, yeah. We have, my bitch going to space for a couple of days. Like, but like, imagine back. driving back. I'd rather fly back from space than drive back from space. What are you talking about? You're gonna be fucking flying down that road. No, but you're That's looking terrifying. down. That's terrifying. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Think yeah. about. Think about the tallest roller coaster literally in the world because you're coming back from space. I'm talking to morons here. You would sit in 18 hours of traffic up, but not the two hours going 90 mile hours down. 90 is the amount of hours? <laughs> <laughs> if you were like stomping on the brakes, you'd be going faster than 90. Dude, you would fall off the fucking track like a, you would, like a hot car. So, uh, hot wheels, right? You would burn through your brakes so fast going down like that. Dude, think about, you know when you go on a water slide, like there's that moment where you're going down and you sort of feel like you're going to go off the front of it? It would be like that for two hours. I'm getting uneasy <laughs> thinking about this. Like, yeah, just oh, just me back in. You'd be back. It's like a minute and a half in a, in a spaceship. Wait, what if it was a slide, though? Hmm. I'd we be don't. freaking out. All the time. Like, uh, no, that's we have had our disagreements on slides, but if there was a slide back from space, I'm listening. That's a lot What's of bang. That? Hmm? Is it water at the end of it? Like a water slide? Could be. I feel like if it's into the ocean, then that's fun, dude. Water slides are sick. You can you can go as fast as you want. You just with that kind of there. speed, you're coming from the speed of falling from space, dude. You would fall straight to like twenty thousand leagues. And just... <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick, dude. Are we talking? <laughs> we're talking about like a fully enclosed slide because if that's what it is, I, then I'm in. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Dude, you're those in? are terrifying, Trent. When you can't get 
out anyway. Like, if you have you ever been stopped in a slide? It's so scary. Trent and Wipe here back. I like that our beef's starting to thaw. This is great. Um, (laughs) like talking to you, Trent. I look at Coley when I'm talking. I don't look at you. You fucking. You said my name. You said Trent. (laughs) No, I didn't. I'd take it back if I said Remember it the old times when we would talk about these things in person? That was fun. Yo, you want to know what else? I actually saw um, a rocket launch the other day, like five miles from where I'm living right now. Yeah, Who dude. Space, your boy high. fucking Elon Musk from Cape Canaveral sending rockets into space. Dude, I saw it with my own two eyes. Man. The moon. We Yo, did, did you know? Did you know six nines like right by my house? He moved because he got he got blown up the spot, dude. People need to I, hold it down for him. He I holds just it saw the picture. Down. That's the county That's right the next county. to us, Dan. We should go get him. I'm you not going anywhere. You, can, you're, you keep going places, Dana. What are you talking about? I went. What do you mean? You went from Long Island to the highest concentration of COVID nineteen to get a camera to create content. Oh, okay. I'm on camera. Dana's side. Dana did it for me. I did. <laughs> Uh, Tyler, would you go to the deepest part of the sea if you were guaranteed to be safe doing it? Did you read that off? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was my brain. That was my brain. <laughs> Next card. Email from uh, Dickhead45. First Do time. You go to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> if I, that was my brain. Hi, Mr. Withers. Big fan. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, man. Like, like the junior reporters and they let him in the locker room. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, like, like, are you are you happy? <laughs> that's a very He's good so question, cool. young man. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I like I do like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay. Guaranteed safety, yeah, because I know it's some wild shit. I don't I don't know if you could guarantee safety. That's how wild the bottom of the ocean is. If you are your ears it, okay? That's mush. That's a great question. Yeah, the ears get fucked. Mm. So what would you say, mush? Your ears like are popping and it hurts bad. Oh, listen. You yeah, you'd, have to do, it, you'd have to do something for the pressure. That's the safety I thought he was saying. Like your okay. eyes yeah. and ear, you know, way, oh, yeah, I, 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 it's it's but I, I just like I don't want to know what's down there. But I'm with you, Dana. Like, I still think I'm a no because the things that I do see, I'm going to be having nightmares about the rest of my life. I don't want to know what's down there at all. Because there's some. Coley, did you did you see my hypothetical? Where? When I tweeted the um, the monkey in jail. No one told me about this. Oh, Dana asked a good question, and Marty has to come in and say some stupid bullshit about monkeys. Ooh. A good Mar- question. At the bottom of the sea. We know what's fucking down there. There's, there's no, you monsters. don't. No, you don't. Monsters down. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, you do not, Marty. Yes, I don't I think do. you realize. I don't think you realize how big the, the ocean is. You know what's down there, Dana? Moss. There's a lot of moss down there. YP, help me out here. <laughs> Mush, you know they've explored you know more. Says? No. Of the ocean. That's how um, big. Tyler, that's, I believe this. I'm worth telling them. That's yeah. are we in the black? What the black sea? Yep. NEC. No, what he said, what Tyler said is that they've discovered, they've explored Maybe. more space than the ocean. Yeah, because no one could breathe down there, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why it's like, I'd go to. Uh, you can breathe in space? I was like, yeah, you can breathe in space yeah. either. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Most tries to play it off. Surely they'll move on to someone else. <laughs> I was hoping someone's gonna talk. Yeah. He was like, Dana, bail me out. Say stuff. <laughs> Any, literally anything. Um, I don't know, man. Well, it's just there's okay, more those, things those, down. There's more things down in the sea that they can't move around. And upstairs, there's nothing literally it's literally space. They have everything they want to do in space. They got mad shit down there. There's communities and shit. There's governments of fish. Yep, schools. Uh, yeah. Forgotten cities. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mermaids, little ones. Uh, Bro, we don't even know. There could be a separate state down. Seattle might be in the sea soon. All right. Um, <laughs> I, be trying, oh, yeah. I appreciate you guys joining uh, to en- enhance your beef uh, tenfold. Uh, Dana, you were good today, Dana. Thank you. Thank Marty, you. I- <laughs> 
you the junior reporter says, "Thank you, Mr. Mick." Well, I usually get. I usually <laughs> just get. I just get. Dana's been real on bad on pick, uh, mixtape a while for a while now. This is a good showing for him. Thank you. I mean, uh, listen. I just sometimes I just gotta be myself instead of trying to be Mr. Hardo. You, you're doing it now. Yeah. Saying, let's not punch <laughs> your good fortune, Dana. <laughs> Dana's like, I should host this show. Yeah, yeah like what? <laughs> I'm going to go hit up the part of my take guys now. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them over in no time. I'm the Zillion Beers guy. Uh, <laughs> they did give me a pretty a, a good bump a couple times. 20,000 beers under the sea, Dana. <laughs> yeah, you on a boat for the entire summer. Can you drink 20,000 of until them? You dr- you're on a boat until you drink 20,000 beers. Could you do it? Uh, in the middle of the ocean? Yep. Yeah. You just somebody, you have a captain, so you don't have to worry about that. But yes, somebody, I, could you, do, I could do that within a year. I, you would do. You'd be on the ocean. Hardo. It's not hardo. I'm answering the question. You're the one that said you could eat a door in like seven days. I said <laughs> you could definitely eat a door in seven days before you could drink twenty thousand beers in a year. In twenty thousand. I just did twenty thousand beers in a year is fifty four beers a day. All right, never mind. Never mind. I don't think that's that much. Like if you're you have literally nothing oh, else to do. Uh, it is that it's much, lot. dude. What else am I doing? But it's every uh, day. You're drinking uh, 50, getting hung over as shit, Tyler. Only 55. Wait, 54 beers a day for how, for a year? Yeah. I think for, it'd be a couple of days. Like, do I got the game on? I got no, TV. you're not on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> do I, can you're I watch also waking, Imagine waking up the next day after 54 beers. Yeah, that would be – oh, God. Your bladder. <laughs> you and do your it again. Key. Yeah. And again. Listen, and on, again. On average. Okay, but how much – I mean, there's got to be something at the end. Like, how much money would it take for you to do it? I would do that no matter what. If it was like you a, a million dollars. Right? Would, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. How, what's the, would you do it for $200,000? I, I don't think it's possible. Nah. I think it's In possible. A year, no. In a year, no. Okay, but if it's, it's, it's just as long... Andre the Giant did it in like a flight to Paris. Oh, so you're saying however long it takes to drink 20,000 beers? drink 20,000. Yeah, yeah so that would it, take me a couple million that's what I'm dollars. Saying. That's what I'm saying. So it can be a year. Right. It, if you're Andre the Giant, it can be like a three-day weekend. Like, oh, yeah. It, you could definitely drink it. It would just take, I think, two years. Okay, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So, so 100,000 a year? Two, I'd spend two years to see if I could have a TV there. Two years is still a case of beer a day. Yeah, right. but you guys wouldn't do that for three million dollars. So you wouldn't stay out there for as long as it takes. Anything over a million, I anything over a million, I would. Anything less, that's too because it's going to take at least two years. So no, bro, I got the gluten, and I'd still do that shit. I'd be shitting thin would, on the in the sea. Would you do it for two? Would you do it for a hundred thousand a year, Mush? A hundred thousand a year. Well, how many years? Assuming, assuming it takes you two I, years, would you do it for like two hundred thousand? No, no, not for two hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Ooh, <laughs> half a meal, man. For twenty, I'd 20, probably 000. do it. I would do it. I think that'd be a great experience. Can you puke them up? Like, what if you just beer bong like fucking thirty at a time and just keep puking them up? Oh, like, I, I'd have to. I'm saying, you'd push your tolerance higher and higher. You get to, it's like I think uh, he did fifty six days and fifty six nights. It's not that crazy. Uh, I think you could do 55. Imagine beers a your day. beer belly at the end of that thing. You'd be, a, oh. you'd be huge. Imagine how much imagine my bank account at the end of that thing. Fair. Dana did a zillion beers. He couldn't do, tw- he did a zillion beers in like a week. He could do if 20 I hear that word one, If I hear that word one more time, he's going to hurl. Do the beer tweet. Stop. You want to go online and go back down to 1,000 followers if, if, it ends, if it ends the, uh, the beer tweet. Trent, remember when Danny used to just like intentionally spill spaghetti and that was how he would get uh, retweets? <laughs> oh, no, cheese. Oh. Yeah, you just throw it on the floor. You're not yeah. getting in my you're not getting in my head today. I'm in a good mood. I'm not trying right. to get in your head. That's what you did. You're having a good show, Dana B. Close I it do. out. All right. Yeah, I love you guys. And um that's it. <laughs> Blue the say. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, YP. See you, Coley. See you, Tyler. See you, Dana. See you, Marty. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Later. Thanks for having me on, Mick. It's a pleasure, man. Of course. Peace.